Warning, do not redistribute uh, BKFC, okay? It's on Fight TV if you'd like to watch along with us. Uh, we have a link in our link tree, the description down below. You can use that. You can watch BKFC. Number 39, Norfolk. That's going down tonight. We're going to react. How's everyone doing? Hopefully, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Smash the like button, please. I noticed YouTube, uh, there was a video that popped up that YouTube is, is pumping the brakes now. They, were, they didn't like naughty words. Still the first seven seconds of a video, you can't say naughty words. But they apparently have loosened it up a little bit for foul mouth shows like ours. We could actually kind of say naughty words again. So that's nice of YouTube to do that. So congratulations to us. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, one of C's on. Nah, who cares? Uh, we're watching Bare Knuckle. We want to see some carnage. And one of the reasons why I'm watching Bare Knuckle tonight, actually the first fight on the card, an old friend of the show, Pat Casey, is fighting on the uh, the opening fight. I did not know that until uh, this morning. And I was like, oh, that, well, that's that's great. Um, where There he is, Pat. I was like, where is he? They didn't show him on the card. So Pat Casey, I don't know if you're familiar with him. He fought in Bellator. Um, I've known Pat. Damn, man. I've known him for a very long time since we started the show. I knew Pat. I saw him on the regional scene. He fought for Premier FC. He was the champion over there. Um, but he in Bellator, he's kind of had his ups and downs. He's a big, scary dude. There he is. He's fought at, at welterweight, at middleweight. Um, I think even at lightweight. I think he fought at three different weight classes. Couldn't really find himself. Uh, but the early days of the MMA holes, when I had guys like William Knight on and Justin Sumters, and the, you know, back in the day, we were just trying to get anyone on the show. Pat was one of the guys, and um, it's good to see Pat find a home and bare knuckle. He's got pretty heavy hands. He has a wrestling background, but he does have pretty heavy hands. So I'm I'm glad to see Pat shaking it up and trying something different. So that's why one of the reasons why I'm watching BKFC. Plus, there is an abnormal amount of carnage. Now, if you're not a bare knuckle fan, it's fine. Uh, UFC uh, San Antonio tomorrow, but we're going to be doing our predictions for free on this stream. So we'll be doing that. We're still on the lookout for Marty Moose. If everyone, everyone's seen Marty Moose, you know, let me know immediately to drop some moose in the chat. 
Because the moose is loose. Been gone for five years. I wonder where he is. Uh, let's see. Who's in here? Uh, BKFC is all over TikTok, but I'd rather listen here. Let's go. Let's go, let's go Kyle. Let's go. The uh, the stream that we did on Wednesday, still getting very good reception from it. Mark Harley, I noticed a bunch of people subscribing and, uh, you know, uh, surprisingly positive results from that stream. Now, there's a lot of criticism for what was said on that stream, but um, surprisingly pri uh, positive. So uh, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't think it was going to be very positive. But a pretty good turnout for that. So if you missed it and you want to see a circus Wednesday stream, check it out. It revolves around the Bopperverse, Brendan Schaub universe. Silent Gamer, are you out there? Silent Gamer, you get God of War Ragnarok. You won God of War Rad Ragnarok. So if you could reach out to us, that'd be nice. Um, the uh, stream that's UFC 286, we reached out to you. So just drop your email there. Or if you can, contact us that way. The MMA Holes Info at gmail.com and we will get your game to you congratulations um okay so we're going to get ready from some bare knuckle we're going to get ready for some predictions tonight i want to give a shout out to our sponsors before we get going mybookie.ag promo code mma h o l e s for 100 percent match in your first deposit cbdx.com i've been using this way too much way too much by the way the delta nines put me in a trance like when i go to sleep it, it's just when you hit the bed and it's just like that little stage right before you go to sleep. It's just so nice. It really, I'm telling you, the Delta 9, easily my favorite from the bunch. So cbdx.com is the website, promo code MMAHOLES for 100% matching your first deposit. First order, you get a free gift, must be 21 plus to purchase. Sheath underwear, the best undies in the game. Come on, how many times do we got to tell you guys? This underwear is unstoppable. You put this on, you feel like a million dollars. If you want to feel good, you want to look good, especially when you're taking those clothes off, getting romantic. You got a pouch in the front that you could slide your junk in as well. It's got cooling systems. This thing is very high tech, this underwear. But for me, the reason why I like using it is just because of the comfort. So if you want some premium underwear that looks pretty good too, check it out. Link in the description. 20% off promo code MMAHOLES sheath underwear. CBDX.com, I talked about. Head Rush. Check out Head Rush. Got some premium clothing there as well. Head Rush. Link in the description down below. You look tough, man. When you wear this stuff, you look very, very tough. You don't look like a puss bag like me. Like if I walk around with just non-MMA holes gear or non-Head Rush stuff, I look like just a complete puss. But when I walk around with Head Rush, people cross the street. They're like, oh, I got can't mess with that guy. Very tough stuff there. And sensual stuff for the ladies as well. Check it out. They got cool apparel. Link in the description Promo code MMAHOLES for 20% off. If you're going to watch ESPN Plus or the UFC tomorrow, UFC San Antonio, use our link in the description, and we get a little commissione from that. ESPN Plus, and like I said, Fight TV is where BKFC is going down. So if you want to watch that, we have a link for that in our link tree. Here's Pat Casey. He's there. He's out there. Let's go, Pat. I'm a little biased. Uh, Pat looking good, man. Always in great shape. And he's got no gloves on this time. He's fighting a man named Wright. Wright and Casey are nothing. No no BKFC resume. Let me look at Tapology. BKFC. Sponsored by OnlyFans. We got the points game going on as well. Uh, down below over here. If you want to be in the points game, uh, $2 to enter. The person with the most points at the end of the night wins. And how you get the points, every donation, say, points to a specific player. So points to Mystic, points to JBM, points to whoever is in the game. The person with that most points gets something from the MMAholes.com. Thank you for supporting the show. If you become the stream boss, who is the stream boss now? It's Sinosi. Uh, stream boss gets taken out. The wheel gets spun. So you, whatever it lands on, those points go to your player. And good luck to everyone playing the points game. Do I have a job boss? No, actually, I just uh, crawled in from my box. I don't. I live in a box with Ellie and Jesse. I'm homeless. And um, good thing the box has good uh, internet. I have a green on one of the sides of the box. It's green. And that's how I get all the graphics in. Who is this guy over here? Let's see. BKFC events. Search. BKSFC 39. 
Okay. Knockout decision. Okay, I was just looking at some previous stuff. So Kyle Wright versus Pat Casey. Kyle Wright, super savage. 27 years of age. Let's look at his resume here. Uh, lost an icon. <clears throat> Rear naked chokey. Not much experience. Ultimate Battleground B2 Fighting Series. Not much pro experience. Oh, let's go Pat, baby. Let's go Patty Boy. Run this dude over. This guy's scary looking, though. He's a, he's a scary looking fella. Maybe I should show you what I'm looking at. That would help. Hold on a second. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Boom. There he is. Yeah, he's a scary looking boy. Kyle, Kyle Wright. Big muscular guy as well. So... Let's go to the Fight Buddies Reaction Center. <laughs> All right. How's everyone doing? Curled out of the box. Wait, uh, you just put uh, Baby uh, 2 in the box. That's true. That's true. We're going we're gonna to need a bigger box. Casey, how many people in the chat are watching along with us? Springfield, Massachusetts. Pat Casey being announced right now. He's, he's shaking it out. How old's Pat now? Pat's probably in his 30s now. 32? Hopefully Pat's all roided up for this. I don't think they test. Let's go, Pat. Let's go, Pat. All right, so I'm going to be a little bit of a fan here. It's pretty cool, man. When I was doing uh, the cage interviews for Premier FC, Pat Casey was the champion then. And uh, that's how we met. And um, I don't know. I had some cool moments, you know, in those little, like, regional scene fights. So it's fun to see him on TV. Is anyone in the chat actually watching BKFC, or you just got you guys just listening to me? I don't know if you can get this, you know, on the Fugazi streams. I don't know if that works. <clears throat> BKFC ain't messing around. Box get bigger with each baby, like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Oh, whoa, vintage OG Jackie Martling joke. Okay, here we go. Uh, watching one FC. Okay, let me know how that goes. Here we go, round one. Get ready. Get set. Wow, this ref, dude. This ref. Oh, here we go. Pat swinging away. Throws the right hand at the lateral muscle of right. Whoa, man. Casey is swinging for the fences. So he does have heavy hands, man. Casey is swinging like he wants to put this guy to sleep. He's coming in like his name is the Gorilla Ninja, and he is just fucking unloading. Wrights are coming in. Casey is just charging forward on right. Wright's just trying to weather the sp storm here. Looks like Casey wants to take down. Now he's going uppercuts in the clinch. Wright's trying to push Casey to the ropes, and he does. Wright hits him with a right, and now Casey holds him. <laughs> Come on, Pat. <laughs> you fucking nut job. Oh, my God, dude. So there's a mouthpiece that fell out. Of right, the ref's like, get it on, here we go, welcome to Bare Knuckle, if this is the first time you've ever watched Bare Knuckle, well, get ready, it's gonna be a bumpy ride, as the body shots come in, a counter right hand by right, right's just trying to stay calm here, as Pat really unloaded early, Pat looking for that first round knockout, now one minute left in the first round of five, and Casey comes to the body upstairs again. Casey swings with the hook. Casey's got a, oh my god, he's just letting him go to the body again, lefts are coming in, straight up street fight. Oh, down goes right. Down goes right. And the ref says no more. He says no more. He just waves the hands back and forth. And is that it? What's going on here? That's, yeah, that's that's it, right? Oh, he says he's good. What the? It looked like the ref was like no more. Right's left eye is just swollen shut, blood coming out of it. And they're continuing. Damn, I thought that was a carnage right there. Did anyone think that was... I don't have the sound on, but shit, the way the ref was going like this. Was he calling it a slip, maybe? Anyway, they're both back up here. Wright says he's good, and here comes Casey charging forward again. Body shots. Oh, nasty right hand by Wright, but Casey just swinging like a lunatic. <laughs> Casey with the uppercut. Casey with the right and left. Man, Wright can take a punch. Wright takes a knee. Wright takes a knee, and Casey puts his hands on his hips. He he's pants over to his corner, and Wright gets back up. He nods at the ref, says he's still ready to go. Woo! What a round, baby. What a round. <laughs> this is fucking nonsense. What a sport. 
<laughs> I'm just hoping Ka uh, pa Casey didn't go too hard in that first round. My man was huffing and puffing. He just was swinging for the fences. Damn, bro. Hey, Wright's a tough dude. I've seen firsthand Casey annihilate people, but I've seen Casey like pick people up and slam them down to the ground. He's a scary dude, man. He's a scary dude. Like a fight at the park, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey, Slow DK, how's it going, man? <laughs> Welcome to the PKFC Ish Show. I'll be your host, Mystic Moss, walking th you through the craziness. Ah, okay. Like I said, it's on Fight TV. If you guys want to watch along with us, we got a link down below. So you can check it out that way. But no worries. I got you covered. I'm going to give you the results. And I'm going to let you know what I see. So Wright got cleaned up nicely. And Wright's coming out pretty frisky here. Oh, here comes Casey brawling forward. And Casey going all over the place to the body to the head. Then backs up. Damn, Casey hits him with a nice counter right hand. But Wright has that upright position. He's looking to let these things go here. Wright is not afraid. Comes in with the one-two. Nice. And then the left hand by Casey. Stumbles right to the mat. He goes tumbling down to the ground, gets back up. He, Dude, Wright is a tough dude, man. He looks scary as he's looking Casey in the eye. He says he's fine, and he continues. So <laughs> Wright takes another tumble. Casey's got to be real careful, man. Casey's knuckles very swollen as he swings forward, and here comes the Gorilla Ninja coming in there. Body shots, uppercuts, right hands, rights and lefts coming into right, and Wright's trying to counter in. Casey backs up. Wright's trying to get... Back into the game as Casey's huffing and puffing here with one minute left. Oh, the left hand by Casey. Crack it on right. And right comes forward. Right comes back in. Eats a left or right hand. Then backs up. Bounces off the ropes. 53 seconds left. Right meets Casey back in the center. <laughs> Things slow down a little bit here. After Casey's berserk first Sequence. Oh man, Casey with a nasty right hand backs up right. Then right resets, comes back forward, hits with a nice jab. So right looks fresh though. He's eating a lot, but looks pretty fresh as Casey just lunges in. And here comes more lefts by Casey. Casey's got to start working the body, man. Right coming forward. Big dude backs off from a right hand again. And they're yelling to the ref about something. I don't know what happened there. Right moving in. Casey tries to counter in with the left, and right steps backwards. Ten seconds left. Right comes in with the jab. Casey takes his time, goes to the body. <laughs> right resets again. Two seconds left. That's the end of round number two. Let's go. Did you hear Paulo Costa is now the highest paid Brazilian fighter in the UFC? Is that true? Congratulations. I did see that he uh, he re-signed like a million per fight or something. So good on Paolo. He stuck to his guns. He stuck to his guns. That's that's Savage uh, Sausage's favorite fighter. He's got a man crush. Uh, let's see. Get ready. Or is Volk? Who is your favorite fighter? I mean, I see you very. I don't see you very actively talking to Volk, but you're constantly talking to Paolo Costa on Twitter. Uh, dude's fighting like he has rabies. Yo, Pat's nuts. Pat's a fucking lunatic. Like, he, he is out of his mind. He really is. But, I mean, you throw, <laughs> like, he has rabies. I'll tell him that. He fights like he has rabies. <laughs> Here we go. Round number three. Will this go the distance? I don't know if anyone remembers him from Bellator. Okay, here we go. Round three. I would imagine he's exhausted after the craziness in the beginning. There's a nice one-two by Wright. So Wright's coming in now, and here comes K Casey bull rushing. Oh, Casey got dropped to the right. Nasty right on the face. Woo, Casey puts the mouthpiece in his hands. He's trying to get back up. He might. Oh, he stumbles back to the feet. He trots over to the ropes. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. This could be it. Casey's trying to regroup. He's not quite in there. The ref keeps him go. Whoa, what the ref doesn't even let him put his mouthpiece in. Bro, what the fuck? Casey's shooting him for a takedown. He is really hurt. Whoa, Casey with a spinning kick to the body. <laughs> Casey, 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 <laughs> Casey fucking spinning kicks to the body. Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> they took a point away. Dude, not for nothing, though. That fucking ref is a cunt. He didn't even let him get his mouthpiece in. He's like, keep it going. Dude, uh, just fucking do the standing 10 count. If he's not ready, that's... Oh, they stopped it. That's it. They stopped it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Dude, that's fucked. Just count. He's like, okay, go. The dude didn't even put his fucking mouthpiece in. Bro, that spinning kick. <laughs> All right. I got I to gotta give him a carnage. Fuck. Anyway, Wright got the win. Uh, yeah. Why is it so low? Carnage! Lick the carnage! Embrace the carnage! Go to ah. with carnage! Oh, for dude, carnage. that's fucking crazy. Make carnage! Play jokes on carnage! Masturbate with carnage! Ejaculate the carnage! Propose to the carnage! Enjoy the ah. taste of the carnage! Listen. Celebrate the carnage! Listen, Casey, he got, he got popped. He, he, he did. He got popped. Credit to Wright weathering the storm. You know, it's not Wright's fault. <laughs> Casey hit it with the spinning kick. Dude, that right, that ref fucked up Casey, though. Listen, he could have. the ref could have stopped that fight, right? But instead, he's like, you're good, you're good. And Casey was, like, nodding. But he was, he was definitely, his, his head was fucked. Casey's left side of his face is all swollen. He's a really good dude, Casey, man. Really nice guy. It's a bummer seeing him catch another L. But I, I, I do like the fact that he hit him with the spinning kick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Damn, bro. Damn. I I want to see him back. I want to see him back. Oh, shit. Run back that fight. Damn, ref stole it. He stole it. He stole a good fight from us. No, I can't. I can't even say that. Casey was about to. Casey's looking. Casey's still complaining to the ref. And, and right. Oh, here we go. They're, they're arguing. Casey. Casey is not happy. Casey is not happy. But Wright's being a good sport, you know. Casey was robbed of his dream. Damn, man. Oof, that right hand, though, dropped Casey. Nasty came in. They were, Casey was brawling. Wright was brawling. And Casey went stumbling down to the ground. I just don't like the way the ref... The ref should have just counted if, if Casey wasn't ready to go. You know. <clears throat> the fight's over. But dude's like, no, nah, you're good. His mouth was, piece wasn't even in. <clears throat> Have the KC, KC and the ref do slap fighting. Oh my god. Maybe that's next. Could be. Uh, where is JBM? Where is Mystic Moss? I don't know. That's a good question. Stay, stand by. Pringles versus uh, Bugles debate. Which is better? Hmm, that's a good. Uh, well, it depends what Pringles we're talking about. I'm going to go Pringles. Dude, I had... Oh, I got high as fuck last night. And I had... Um, Jesse got these Doritos. They were so good. Like chili Doritos. I legit got to stop getting high. They're like chili Doritos. Oh my God. That's all I got to say. I was like, what the fuck is hitting my mouth? Like the, the, the taste, the flavor of those... As the Delta 8 was just going through my body... And I was eating those, those, <laughs> those chili Doritos. I don't know where she got. This is bad. She's pregnant, and I'm eating like I'm pregnant too. I know. I know. I'm gonna be a fatty. <clears throat> Craziness. But I'm a nut job. I didn't. I didn't work out today. I was fucking too busy on the gaming stream trying to get that stupid capture card going. I had so many freaking issues. So I did not work out today. So maybe I will be a fat slob. I don't know. The mystical stoner. Yeah, it's getting stupid, man. It's, get, it's getting dumb. What, four nights out of the week now this is turning into? What's, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on here? Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like if I'm gaming, yes. Yeah. Sunday if I'm gaming. So that's three. It's, that's three days where we're, get, we're, we're going to the moon. 
at least three. Sometimes on fight nights, that's four. CBDX.com. Maybe you shouldn't get, maybe you shouldn't go to CBDX.com. <laughs> Spicy sweet chili Doritos. Dude, bro, that's them. That's them. Dude, I need a sponsor. I don't know. I don't need that sponsor. I mean, it's just, they're just, they're ridiculous. Like I was like, I put them in my mouth and, and like the, the flavor hit the tongue. I was like, what is that? What is that? By the way, big shout out to Little Seal. I was this close. I tell you what, Little Seal, if you keep timestamping these videos, like that was fucking fire. Little Seal timestamped this thing. Now you don't have to get that descriptive, but my man, the shit, the intricacy of the timestamps that came in on the Wednesday stream. If you timestamp Fight Buddies, bro, you're getting a wrench. Like, the first person that consistently fucking timestamps the Fight Buddies, you're getting a wrench for sure. Like, that would save a lot of our time. That'd be amazing. So, Little Seal, I got my eye on you, man. Not only the gaming channel, you might get another one. Damn, I was looking at those times. I was like, I woke up. I was like, what the fuck? That's like, that's like grade A timestamps. Jesse has a cooking channel. Yes, she does. That's your favorite Dorito when you're stoned. Which one? Which one you have, Carl? Same one. Better than drinking. Yeah, but the way I'm the way I'm binge eating, dude. It's like it's not good. I get stoned and I fucking do the munchies are just like. You get cereal. Yeah, I've done that. I have done that. I, I just got. I can't eat. I stuck a bar of soap in my mouth the other night to try to stop it, but I couldn't. I ate the soap. It's a joke. I didn't. Uh, da, 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 da. What do you guys do? What do you guys do when you get munchies? Like, how do you stop it? The purple bag? Is that? Oh, yeah. Dude, it's so good. I don't know where the hell Jesse found this thing. Uh, Jesse on fire called you out for stealing his chill sonin bet. I spoke to Jesse. Jesse said someone was in his chat. <laughs> Another MMA whole account was um, was in his chat. Again, they they, they were saying the N word. He said <laughs> he actually sent me a video message. It was they. I guess when he was looking into it, they started dropping the N word. <laughs> Imagine that was me, and I'm just like N I G. <laughs> you can't stop it. Just stop that face. It's terrible, man. It's a terrible habit. Eat lettuce. <laughs> just, just fucking put a head of lettuce in my mouth. I mean, there's, there's got to be a way where I could substitute like decent food to, to stop the cravings. Rub it out. That's the last thing I want to do. When I got the munchies, I want to feed. Like I'm, th I'm thinking to myself, like last night, like uh, yeah, it was last night. I th now I know what vampires go through when they crave that blood and they don't get it, you know? That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm craving blood. <laughs> I need I need my junk food. Oh, cottage cheese. Oh my god, dude. Jesse eats that. I can't fucking eat cottage cheese. Even the even the 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 name of the cheese, cottage cheese, just sounds fucking horrific. Okay, we're getting into the next fight. Does anyone actually eat cottage cheese? I, Jesse does. I can't fucking stand it, man. And I like cheese, but that's not, that's no. Yes, Todd. Tune into my gaming streams. You'll see. I progressively get worse and just go into fucking La La Land. It, the Delta 9, though. I eat too many bananas. I'm like a chimpanzee. Food suppressants. Okay, we're getting ready for this fight. I don't give a shit about this fight. I'm so upset Pat lost. So how many fights you got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fights. Two championship fights. Man, the fight I was most excited about is over. You like cottage cheese? I can't do it, man. I can't. It's kind of gross. Yeah, you can't have too many bananas. That's true. Too much potassium. Not good for you. But bananas are delicious. At least one or two a day you can get away with. But <laughs> Addies. Addies and baddies. 
Should I go for some Addies and bat? I've never had Adderall, and I never will have Adderall. I could probably use it. All right, here we go. Right off the bat. Grosu versus Stit. Grosu? What is this guy fucking... Was he the Mandalorian sidekick? Grosu. He is really flying away with these... Oh, my God. These guys are going... Oh, nice left hand by Grosu coming in. And Stit is swinging away as well. Here comes Stit. Stit's got a very odd approach. Body shots by Stit. Got an underhook. How old is Stit, man? Stit looking old out there. Quartus Stit. Very interesting. 36. Okay, a little separation here. Headbutt clash. 115 left. And here comes Stit. Whoa, Stit knocking down Grosu. That's a knockdown. Grosu looks over. It was kind of like against the ropes. He went stumbling down. Now back up quickly. Grosu gave him a nod and says, I'm okay. But that is a count. That's happening. So good job by Stit. Getting the first knockdown. In the second fight. It's such a crazy sport. Although it's like still watching this way better than Power Slap. Like not even close. Oh man, Stid almost fucking walked into a uh, meat grinder there. That was a little problematic, but Stit doing a good job blocking his face here. Now goes to the body, right to the body. He eats a right hand by Grosu. Grosu's wrap's kind of falling off a little bit. It's amazing you don't get more eye pokes. With these, oh, nice counter right hand by Grosu. Left hand by Grosu. Grosu moving in. Grosu hits him with a left. Stit backs up. I think he got hurt. Stit is trying to clinch up here. Grosu's hitting him in the cramp. Oh, man. Right hand's coming in. Grosu. Body shots, Grosu. Grosu, more body shots to the head. Stit hits him to the body. They're still clinched up. Can Stit survive the first round as they are going back and forth? And Grosu has him against the ropes. And he looks like he's going to see two. Okay. I think uh, Stitt looks more tired than anything. Maybe we'll get another comeback. Don't call the comeback. I gotta go to one of these events. I wanna. I gotta. I gotta like soak the whole experience in. Who do you think wins? Uh, I don't think Dom. Phase, do you realize 65% of this chat is nude? That is, that's actually, uh, that's true. You got Addies? How many people have ad had Adderall in the chat? I would imagine probably 75% of our chat has dabbled into that crazy stuff. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like when I was a kid, I probably, probably would have came in handy, but. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just not, not a fan. Government meth, Todd Smith. You have a chance of seeing some really, uh, dying going to BKFC. One time since Blue Mugo. I haven't had it. The strength differences are insane. I had baddies just waiting to get the addies. Uh, I have it. It's not that great. Drink like a fish on it. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Oh, my God. Gross, who's going in. Nice job by Stitt getting that under, underhook and pushing him to the ropes. And the ref separates the boys with 123 left in the second round of Stitt versus Grosu. By far the worst hangover. Yeah, drinking, I mean, an Adderall. Like, dude, that just sounds, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Eight off the second, Bartho. <laughs> the fuck uh hi guys i'm new here heard it swell moss i heard a lot about you heard oh what do we got here so stit was a little uh what happened here a little penalty let me stop the clock let me read this comment uh i heard you used to be an mma fighter back in your teens but a severe injury forced you to stop kudos bud a uh, similar story with myself yes that's yeah that's 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 it. Can't get drunk on Adderall. I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't mix uh, prescription drugs and drinking. I, I, I mean, I know people that like to do that stuff. I, I, I highly recommend you don't. If you can't just get drunk, like if, if getting drunk is not enough, you got a fucking problem. Like you have a massive, massive problem. 
and you need to get help. Oh, boy. Stitt is eating him. Now, Stitt with that clinch again. That underhook stops him from hitting the mat. So we got 40 seconds. I want to sync up this clock here. Man, Gross is staying on him. Gross is my guess, too, though. Gross has been putting up a lot of volume. Sloppy as folk. So here we go. 20. Uh, eight, oh, down goes Stitt. There he is. He takes a knee. Stitt down to the ground. Takes a second to recuperate. Holds on to the ropes. Just kind of in the nose, out the mouth situation going on here. He's saying, I'm all right. I'm good. I'm just exhausted, you know. Man, Stitt looking old out. He's jacked. But it looks like, oh, body shot again. Down goes Stitt. He's not going to recover from this. He's done. He's done. He's done. Just wave your arms around, bro. Stitt is done. He is not even trying to get back up, bro. Dude, he's done. That's it. Wave it, baby. We got another carnage. Yeah, man. That's it. That's it. Grosu second round carnage. Okay. Uh, when will you show the fights? Uh, I will actually show the fights April 7th. Hold on. Let me double check. We're going to show the fights. Mm -mm 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 April 7th. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. April 7th, we will be showing the fights live on this channel. Our play-by-play -play plus the fights. Let's go. Wonderful, wonderful. That is true. That is true. April 7th. Minimal carnage. Uh, let's see. Chris made me while drunk at a Blink-182. What? Or met you? I, I've never... Uh, did I see Blink-182 live? If I did, it was they were in some festival. I don't remember. I don't think... I don't think I've ever seen them live. I would, but I don't think I did. Unless it was at like a Warp Tour or a Lollapalooza that I don't remember. You're not missing out on anything uh, with Adderall. You would be taking a million mile, uh, talking a million miles per hour. I think it would throw off your commentary. <laughs> yeah, I probably could have used it for school. I probably could have because I couldn't retain any information. I was probably a prime candidate. But I'm glad I never did it, to be honest. I saw Jesse on it, and I legit thought she was going to die. For real. That was, that was a rough run. Look at this guy. Simpson with the swooped hair. He's, like, confused. He's like a confused Viking. He's a non-binary Viking. With all the fentanyl deaths uh, in the U.S., why risk and take any drug uh, to look cool and edgy? I don't think... Does anyone take drugs to look cool? Like, the drugs that I do, I'm not trying to look cool. I am... Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? I enjoy it. If, you, if you're doing drugs to look cool, I don't know, man. <laughs> I really don't have anything to say. I don't know. <laughs> Who does drugs look cool? I mean, smoking cigarettes back in the day. When remember when cigarettes were cool? I don't know if anyone's old enough for that. There was actually a time where cigarettes were actually cool. Like people would rock cigarettes. You know, you would die from them, but you just look fucking cool with them. Now you got a cigarette hanging out of your mouth. You just look like an idiot. No offense to the cigarette smokers out there. Not trying to not trying to offend, but it doesn't look cool anymore. Be like, oh look, this idiot. I'm one of them. <laughs> One of those guys. I gotta smell this shit. Yeah, I'm a former smoker, so I could say that. But yeah, there was a time. Everyone vapes uh, CBD or weed these days. Yeah, I guess vaping is huge, right? Isn't that like worse than cigarettes too? You haven't had a cigarette in a month. That's that's see now that is impressive. Quitting smoking is legit. 
It's one of the toughest things you could ever do. It is brutal. That's why if you're ever thinking about starting smoking, talk yourself out of it immediately. I was so anti-cigarette, and then I fucking... I gave it a go, and then I couldn't stop. It was, like, impossible. But now, it's been years. It's been many years. So, you know, it could be done. Jeff Molina smokes the poles. Lots safer to smoke a... Oh, well, actually, maybe not because you get AIDS. But, <laughs> but I, I still think, overall, if you look at the numbers, you smoke a penis and you smoke a cigarette, it's probably safe for the penis, right? You got some setbacks, STDs and, you know. I used to love blunts, those are dangerous. Yeah, well, now I'm all edible. It was way harder to quit fast food than cigarettes. Hmm. I, I could see that. I could see that being tough. Because you can go, you can go weeks without fast food. And then you're starving. You're on a road trip or something like that. Where are you going to get something healthy? There's a freaking McDonald's. And then away you go. You're done. All right, we're getting into uh, Emo Viking versus Jay Jackson. That's next. Light heavyweight fight. This guy looks like, uh, what was that Viking guy called? The Dancing Viking? What was that guy's name? The Rave Viking that went viral. You know what I binged watch today? You ever see that big black dude that walks like this? And then he fucking kicks the, the, the fast food out of the fat people's hands? I went on this. I could not stop laughing and watching this guy doing this. And Jesse's like, what is so funny? And I'm like, I don't know. This is hilarious. You, got, you know what I'm talking about? I'll, I'll show one of his videos in a sec. I forgot the guy's name. Molina interview had uh, Ariel feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, Ariel is such a fucking idiot. Like, I. <laughs> that interview was terrible. Terrible. It was just like one of those, let's give him a platform to talk and tell his side of the story. And, and you know, it's going to be okay, Jeff. He's a true inspiration to the homosexual community. Ah, don't don't mind that pesky fight fixing shit. He's having some tough times. Oh, I'm looking for that guy. Hold on. We're here for you, Jeff. We're here for you. No one should go through that. It doesn't matter if you fixed fights and you got suspended by the UFC. We're here for you. Conveniently, a sex tape drops so we could forget about you fixing fights. We're here for you, Mr. Molina. We got your back. <laughs> we got your back. Now, if he's, if he's innocent of this, then, you know, I eat my words. I'm an asshole. But so far, he's guilty. This guy, dude, you see this guy, dude? This guy is so fucking funny. <laughs> Look how he's walking. Hold on. Let's 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 just observe. <laughs> Look at this dude, man. I went down this fucking rabbit hole. I'm like, who is this guy? And I found every video I could find just so I could see the walk. And then he just fucking does this kick. He just kicks the chicken out of the hand, the 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 McDonald's, whatever, the, the donuts. Dude, it's so fucking funny. It's so funny. Yeah, here he is again. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see this. <laughs> I see this sucker coming in. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. Look at <laughs> Look at how he's walking. Dude, this shit is like... This shit is like stuff me and my brother would do when we made stupid home movies, like trying to make each other laugh. Like, this is shit we would have done without all the muscles. This is right up my alley. Hey, yo, come with food, man. <laughs> what you doing here, man? What you doing here? What the hell in your mouth, man? Get 
Here he comes. Look, there he goes. There he goes, guys. Look how mad he is. You don't listen. No, not this one. Not this one. Hold on, hold on. This one. This one here. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Dude, who walks up? Hey, yo, what are you doing, man? What you doing here, man? What you doing here? What the hell are you about, man? Where you come from, man? Where you come from, man? Oh my god. Dude, I, I was watching so many of these freaking videos. So many of them. Just laughing harder and harder. Dude's coming. Like, who comes out of a fast food place with no shirt on? Like, who buys fast food and doesn't have a shirt on and is like 400 pounds? It's great. Everything about those videos are hilarious. Whatever that guy's name is, man, follow him. He's funny. He's a funny dude. <laughs> oh, that guy's amazing. Yeah, he's like the modern day Mr. T. Modern day Mr. T. Dude's so funny, man. Of course, it's a setup. What? <laughs> Who would think that's real? <laughs> we know it's not real, it's a bit, but it's a fucking funny bit. <laughs> if anyone watches that and thinks that's real, you need your fucking head examined. But dude, funny as hell, hell, man. Just the idea of, of just some fucking big, scary black dude. Muscles up to his the top of his ears. Just walking like this. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What you eating? What you eating? All right, here we go. Simpson versus Jackson. Who do we got in this one? I kind of want the emo Viking to get knocked down. I don't even know. I mean, I have nothing against the guy. It's just his hair's creeping me out, man. Although he's got, it's very interesting. It's very, okay, let's go. Let's go, Jackson. Knock him out. Knock that fucking weird thing off his head. Oh, nice counter right hand by emo Viking. So Simpson versus Jackson. They don't drug test here. No way. No fucking way. Jackson's coming in. Ooh, this is a good fight. Here we go. A little clinching up here. Simpson locks on. They separate. It's bad enough you have a man bun, but it's like side of his head. Like, what is going People are just running out of ideas. Oh, that counter right hand. Ooh, Simpson landed a flush one there. Jackson's got a freaking strong head. Solid face. Let's go. I can't see this. I don't know. This doesn't feel like it's going to a decision the way these guys are throwing. Simpson walking forward. Jackson backs up, looking to counter him with that right. Both guys now. Oof, man. Here they go. Simpson steps forward right into a left hand of Jackson. Jackson tries to get him with an Hadouken. Hadouken. Oh, nice left by Simpson. Backs up Jackson. He's coming in for the kill. And then gets dropped by Jackson. Jackson set the trap. And Simpson takes a fall. Emo Viking on his knees, and he gets back up. Stumbles back over to the ropes. He gives him an opposite. He's like, I'm good, bro. I'm a good girl. Maybe my hair's not good, but I am. And here we go. Simpson ready to go. 34 seconds on the clock. Simpson. Wow, Simpson got set up there. Jackson played a little possum. What a sport. What a sport I'm consuming right now with my eyeballs. Simpson versus Jackson. It's the third fight in on the card. Two for two with Carnage. A little suspect, the first one. You and JV should recreate, recreate that video. You being the fat guy and her walking up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we could recreate that magic, man. Oh, my God. Here we go. Jackson stumbling forward and then pushing Simpson to the ropes. They collide and separate. End of the first round. Solid stuff between the boys. Me. See you, too. It's so funny, man. Yeah, I got to start making bits. It's hard to make bits with Jess now. She's all, she's all prego and stuff. But when the baby comes out between naps, <laughs> we definitely have to start making those bit bits again. That'd be fun. <laughs> Simpson looks like a Viking after 10 years of baddies and baddies. Dude, how, like, what's, so what do you guys think what's going on with Chubb? Like, what do you think? Do you think they have an open marriage? Do you think there's trouble in paradise? Like, do you think this is all fake? Like, every all the accusations are fake about him cheating. I mean, I think he's clearly... 
here's the thing. I'm not going to criticize Shab too much. You shouldn't cheat on your wife, right? You shouldn't. But I've been guilty. I've been guilty of doing fucked up things in the past. So I'm not going to sit here and fillet Shab for, you know, not being the best partner, you know? I've I've I was young and dumb and full of cum and full of addies and chasing baddies. You know, people do some really stupid, especially guys do some really stupid shit, you know? And 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 I got to say this too, like I'm friendly with Mark but no, I never cheated on Jess. I, here's the thing. Jess got me at the perfect time. Old and not full of as much cum, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't give a fuck about that stuff anymore. Like, I could get a knowledge a pretty girl, but I don't... Like, before, I was legit... I was, like, in heat. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Like, I don't know. There was something wrong with me. I wasn't programmed right. But um, I made every wrong decision. But meeting Jess and then a big age... Oh, nice body shot by Jackson. So I, I don't want to like completely crucify Shab. It's not right. It's wrong. People make mistakes. But you know, <laughs> like what? How did? How does a marriage survive that? You know. Yeah, I save I save the come for children. But it's why I didn't have children or do anything in in other relationships because I knew I was very immature. See, that's the problem. If you have kids, it's time to fucking grow up. It's the truth. You should never cheat. It's wrong, and I've been guilty of it. But if you have kids, if you have kids, that's when you got to be a fucking man. You know? Now, on the other side of things, uh, you know, Hella Mark just unloading all the, uh, the DMs and stuff like that. I mean, bro code right out the window, like insanity. I wonder what dudes think of Mark for that, you know? I mean, I understand he was fired. They, you know, he didn't like the way they left off, but to release all that stuff and break up a marriage and sh or try to break up a marriage, shit. Yeah, FaZe. I wasn't the best. I wasn't the best human being. I've spoken about this many of times. Wasn't I wasn't like the best. But I was able to clear the demons. And be open with everybody and let everything, put everything on the table, you know? Not many guys get a chance to do that. I had a chance to do that. So, you know, I had to, oh shit, are they going to stop this thing? <gasps> they stopped it. So the cut on Simpson, oh, that's a bummer. A doctor stoppage. Yeah. He's a rat. Yeah, I mean, he kind of is. He kind of is a rat. You know, here's the thing. Shab is worse. Cheating, you know, and having kids, dude, that's like you're playing with fire, man. You're playing with you, you can't you can't be doing that. That's just it's fucked. Just get a divorce. You know what I'm saying? Get a divorce. Don't put your kids through that shit. Your kids gotta go to school, you know. But being a rat is fucked up too. You know? Being being a rat is you know, you gotta wonder, you know. You gotta wonder what's <laughs> Like, what's going through Mark's head, you know? I, I, That's the one thing I should have asked Mark. I didn't think about it until afterwards. Because he, he was kind of ratting him out. Next time I talk to him, I will ask him that. About the, the uh, you know, does he feel like he's a rat? Well, yeah, it's true. Listen, as much as, as Mark is being a rat, you know, he could actually... Be helping out uh, fucking Shab's wife, you know, like not fucking Shab's wife, but um, helping out Shab's wife. I mean, could you imagine you're raising these kids? Bapa's going out to comedy shows, banging everything that's walking. His wife thinks he's being good, you know. All right, let me ask. I'm actually curious this because yes, doxing voice messages is wrong. It is wrong, absolutely wrong. But um, someone reached out to us about having Luana on. I don't know. Would you guys want that? Because I, we can do it. I would like to get her side of the story, too. I don't know if it's getting too much. <laughs> Is it getting too much? I, I can keep going. What's worse? Okay, what's worse, chat? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch our last interview with Hella Mark Harley uh, talking about Brendan Schaub. I promise you, you'll get some juicy information out of that video. It's wild, man. But here's the thing. Let me just say this. I don't have a problem with, with Mark from the relationship through messages and interviews and stuff like that. 
he's all right with me. Like, we're cool. We're fine. I don't have any problems with the guy. Um, do I agree with a lot of the things he said? No, I don't. Um, do I feel he's a narcissist? Yes. And I, and, I, and I said that to him. I do feel it. But um, I do respect the fact that he came on the show and was completely open. You know, if a guest is open, I got respect for that. But I want to ask the chat as an observer of the whole situation. What's worse? Cheating on your wife and kids or being a rat? That's actually a tough question because both are pretty bad in their own ways. Cheating on your wife and kids or being a rat? Let's ask the chat. I'm curious. This is, this is a dicey, dicey question. Yeah, because usually if you're being a rat, you know, you're mad because you did something wrong, you know? Uh, has the, well, Shab was a UFC fighter, so it's close. And there might be some MMA involved. Maybe Shab might fucking, I don't know, choke him out or something. <laughs> you got to wonder why these two haven't fucking scrapped. A uh, rat would cheat on uh, the wife and kids. A rat would cheat on their wife and kids. Well, in this situation, the rat could be cheater too. It's a possibility. It's a very good possibility. Uh, that is a quick, good question. Being a rat like what Mark did is worse. Okay, so here's where I would agree. Like if Mark was guilty of cheating as well, which I we kind of threw it on the table there. He kind of fell into a little bit of a trap. I, I believe from the information I got, I believe he cheated. I, there's, there's, there's not a doubt in my mind. I've had information from people saying it. I just needed to hear his side of the story from the evidence I got. It's clear, you know? So I believe he did, but there's no kids involved. You shouldn't cheat. You should not cheat. But when kids are involved too, you just, I mean, dude. Uh, cheating on your wife and kids is worse than a rat. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Shab would destroy Mark. Uh, talk about carnage. Say what you want. I mean, yeah, Mark's got big muscles. Scary dude, but Shab is a former UFC fighter. Who actually did fairly decent. Like, I think that's what a lot of people don't realize. Like, Brendan Shab was actually a legit guy. Like, he was scary at one point. Shab would destroy Mark. Yeah. What what's the line on Mark versus Shab? Brandon minus four hundred. I would I would imagine it's pretty lopsided. It's one thing to cheat on your girlfriend. It's a whole different thing. Uh, moral ethic. Uh, moral ethical ball game. It's a whole uh, different moral ethical on your girlfriend. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Cheating is wrong no matter what. It wrong is wrong. Right. And uh, like I said, I've made mistakes too. So for me to point fingers and be like, oh, crucify them, I can't really do that. But I do think when kids are involved, that's when it gets so, f like, it gets beyond. Like, it's fucked up to cheat on your girlfriend. It's really fucked up to cheat on your wife. It's extraordinarily fucked up when kids are involved. You know? It really is. I know people make mistakes and shit like that, but, you know. So... It's fascinating, though, to sit back and see this whole thing unfold and Shab's buying, you know, the house conveniently for his mother-in-law. <laughs> right when all this information drops, like, it's just like, dude. Like, like on his way to film this whole scenario, simultaneously, people are coming out of the woodwork saying that they were fucking Shab. Like, <laughs> dude. What the fuck? And then the mom's like, I love you, son. And <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Unless they have an open relationship, then it's all, then who cares, right? I have a question. It will blow you and the chat's mind. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, Johnny Smith, uh, LOL, you're not helping, uh, but well said. What did he say? <clears throat> Are you discrediting the crow cop? It's only cheating if you get caught. <laughs> that was my theory back in the day. Yeah, that sounded good. 
when I was just, you know, when I was just in relationships, my buddy would like hold my hand up. He's like, I don't see a ring. <laughs> now I'm about to tattoo. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the, like the worst thing you could possibly do. I'm going to just fucking do the, the tattoo, put it over here. Good to go. It's fucked. Guys are fucked. Girls are fucked up too, though. Girls are just as bad, if not worse. They're just better liars. You know? When we used to go to Vegas, these women had kids, and they didn't care. So girls are pretty bad. They're just way better liars than guys. Guy, we're just dopey men. I feel bad for the kids that got to put up with uh, all the hate on their dad. Yeah, think about it. Everyone is just, like, using Shab as the butt. Like, what's going to happen when these kids get older? And a lot of people that I know that mutually know Shab say he's actually a really nice dude, you know? So you got this, I, I don't know. It's, I mean, if he's guilty of any of this stuff, like who gives a fuck how nice he is? Right? <laughs> like how nice are you really? You know? It's such a weird situation. The whole thing is so bizarre. And I kind of understand why so many people are obsessed about this, you know? Um... Because it is, it's fascinating. It just gets weirder and weirder. Ah, oh, super chat. We got the clipper coming in, dropping a deuce. A rat is just someone who tells the truth. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Pretty much. Usually when you're getting ratted on, it's because you did something wrong, right? It's the truth. You're upset. You're only upset if someone, if you did something wrong. How dare he tell the truth? <laughs> but I trust him not to tell the truth. It is weird, right? If you think about it that way, it's a little fucking weird. You know? How dare you tell the truth? It's not your truth to tell. He's so nice. He cheats on the, uh, on the woman who uh, mothered his children, which could destroy his kids' lives. I know, right? You know... You would think, you would think, like, there would be some addressing of the situation <laughs> when the entire internet is fucking talking about you and all the girls you were running around with, right? And then when you get kids get older and they got to fucking deal with this stuff, God knows what the hell the wife's going on with the wife. It could be an open relationship. Could be. It's crazy, man. That 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 situation is nuts. I wonder what guys like Rogan think, like behind the scenes. Like, what what are they thinking? Like, oh my god, here we go again. Did they know? Did Rogan and the boys know that this guy's running around banging everything that walks? He entrusted Mark with some serious dirt. Uh, so that tells me, uh, <clears throat> at some level, Mark was cool with it. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Listen. Not only was Mark cool with it, I truly believe Mark was part of it. I do. I do. I, I think I have enough evidence from, from just the interviews to come to that conclusion. Whether he did or didn't, you know, who knows. But I'm leaning towards the fact that this guy, you know, he was, he was involved with some stuff too. Yeah, well, I think not anymore. But I think back in the day, I think Rogan, yes. I do. I think um I don't think Rogan was 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 very um was a straight arrow. I, I feel like now more it might be different. <clears throat> Dana it's 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 I know for a fact. I actually have from a fact, like a confirmed source about Dana White. So I, I pretty much yeah, that's that's legit. I have a feeling Dana White might, and with his relationship too, there might be some openness there as well. Shab learned about it from watching Rogan, maybe, yeah. I learned everything from the guy. <laughs> it is bad because here's the thing. If you're in Shab's circle and you're in a serious relationship, right, you're all fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like, just judging just from like my personal experiences if anyone was like latched on to me you're all fucked <laughs> cuz i i just fucking you know i imploded you know 
Like if you were la like if you're latched to the attached to the guy that's running around doing all the wrong things, what's gonna happen? It's gonna trickle down. I think Brennan is a case of uh, getting hitched before the fame uh, hit, and then he wanted to hit every baddie possible. Yeah, as a as a male, every male has. We all have that that point where we got to get it out of our system. Some never let it out. Some 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 just are stuck in the mentality that I am I am here to make babies. Like I'm here to just you know on to the next, on to the next hunt. Conquer, move on, you know. But then some of us get domesticated. There's there's like a point where we're like, okay, we're good. It took me a while. It took me a fucking while to get good, you know, and start acting like an adult. You know, but everyone has a different age, right? And with Shab traveling and 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 all these stand up comedy, you know, all, all these appearances that he's making and fans coming up to him and you're seeing these dms now who knows if they're real or not i'm leaning towards they're real i mean these d how many people have seen the videos of the dms being leaked it's dude That's it's so sad. it's not just one or two thank you slow dk becoming a upping uh or re-upping your double champ status <clears throat> Phase no, maybe not. I was just throwing thoughts out. <clears throat> I bet a lot of people in the chat are still going through it, right? Like, we all got to go through it. We all got to figure it out, you know? We all got to, like, be like, okay, when's enough enough? <laughs> you know? When are we going to, are we ever going to be able to settle down, you know? That's why I was never able to have kids until later on in life. Because I did not want to bring kids into the world when I was a fucking kid, you know? <clears throat> You're watching too much red pill stuff. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Is that a Matrix reference? Here we go. Uh, Rufin versus Santos. But I am I'm riveted to this this whole situation with Shab. I, I hope there's a happy ending. I do. Fifty one and no wow. Fifty one and no intention to stop. My cousin. My cousin is um, a little older than me. He will never get married. Like, he's in a fairly serious relationship now, but he can't, like, he just can't do it. He never got married, never had kids. He just didn't feel it was right to, a, to, to really latch on to one partner. I was actually jealous of him, like, you know, because he was able to be as honest as he was. 50 War, I haven't tried all the flavors at Baskin Robbins yet working on it. <laughs> Was married 20 years, Moss. Never again. Wow, 20 years. Yeah, I'll do it. You have one bad experience. Sometimes you never want. But you know what? Never say never. Us guys are dopey. <laughs> guys, us guys are we're glutton for punishment. If if there's anything, never say never. Next thing you know, you're 70 years old and some fucking girl some, somehow finds a way <laughs> to sink, sink the claws in. I think I'll pass on marriage. All my married friends are miserable except one. Yeah, I mean, marriage is not easy. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. You need both parties to line up, right? Somehow you have to find a way to line up the female brain with the male brain. It's almost impossible. <laughs> It's an impossibility. And then once you're married, it's like a fucking rodeo. You just got to fucking try to stay on that thing and swing the hat around. And hopefully you don't get knocked off too many times. You know? But once you kind of line it up, it works. The end is near. Get ready. It's over. The end is near of what? What, what are we talking about? Marriage is for producing kids otherwise avoid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's also good for insurance reasons, you know. Things get a little easier. Not much, but a little. <clears throat> I feel in marriage, it, it gets boring. No more porn. I haven't watched porn, like, in a minute. It's been a long time. So... But then again, who knows? Give it a couple of years. I'll probably have a whole different story. 
Uh, how many years, dog? Uh, you think Jess and you will be married? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I not nah, well with me. This is my last stop. So if Jess gets sick of me, then that's a whole different story. But this is my last stop. I don't really, I don't really have much more to do. You know, my goals now are just growing a YouTube channel, growing, growing a community. That, that's where my, uh, my mind is stuck right now. So I'm raising kids, man. I've got another kid coming. Why watch porn when you can have the real thing? It's true. The real thing is a lot better. It is. But there's more strings attached to the real thing, right? What would be your reaction? if you, I would be upset. Like, what would be like? I'm like, yay. <laughs> I would be upset. I mean, why wouldn't I be upset? That wouldn't be fun. Because I, I had no intentions on getting married again. You know? Two and that's it. We're chopping it off. We're cutting it. We're snipping. Two. That's it. We're done. We mesh good together. It's like, well, we have our we have our, our spats on air. But um, yeah, for the most part, like I said, there is a 19-year gap. It takes it took for me to have a 19-year gap to fucking find the line. Like that's pretty that's pretty that shows how fucked up I am. And how fucked up she is. <laughs> I'm the best looking 56 year old I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm the best looking 56 year old. That's really nice of you. Thank you for adding 10 years. <laughs> Sometimes I feel 56. All right, here we go. Chris Young. I don't like this Chris Young referee. He did my guy dirty. Uh, you're going to be in your 60s when your kids are going to be in the teenagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That is true. Oh, here we go. I'll also be doing YouTube then in my 60s. What the fuck? Damn. Oh, my God. Yo, Santos is eating them. Rufin. What a name. Rufin is letting him go. But Santos with that strong underhook trying to just drag him to the ropes. They separate from the referee. Here we go. Round one going on. And these guys are slinging. Santos moving back and Rufin moving in. Rufin just gobbling up the body with the unders. Hits him to the body with some right hands. This is why I like bare knuckle a little bit. You could clinch. I dig it. And then they separate it when it gets too tangly. You know who this ref looks like? Uh, if it, oh, here we go. Rufin is going in for the kill. Oh, man. Rufin is teeing off. Santos is just trying to lunge in and just wrap him up. This ref looks like that comedian from like the original. Remember the first black comedian on SNL? What was that guy's name? Hold on. Uh, what was that guy's name? Was he the first? I think he was the first. Is it Garrett Morris? That's what his ref looks like. He looks just like that guy. I got to find this guy. Hold on. Yeah, this dude here. Yo, Garrett Morris. Yo, this referee, every time I see him, he looks like Garrett Morris. Showing my age right here. I'm sure you've seen this guy on reruns. Is he still alive? Yeah, dude, this ref looks just like him. Garrett Morris. What was a younger picture of him when he was on SNL? <laughs> it looks just like the ref, man. Anyone know? Richard Pryor, you casual. This guy is funny, yeah. One of the OGs, man, of SNL. So he was like the first black comedian on SNL. Dude, this ref, every time I see him, I rem it reminds me of this dude. Garrett Morris. I guess he's still, how old, Garrett Morris, how old is this dude? 86 years old. When was the last time someone referenced that dude? He was on Two Broke Girls. <laughs> two Broke Girls. What? Did you actually watch Two Broke Girls? My ex used to watch that. Did you watch because of the girl with the voluptuous breast that was on that show? Then I'll give you a pass. He was on Martin. Spaceballs. He was in the Wayne's, uh, Wayne's Brothers TV show. Yeah, this guy, he's been around. 
Been around the block. 86. Voluptuous. Here we go. Uh, 152 on the clock. We're in the second round of action. Rufin versus Santos. A light fight, buddies. We're not going all in. We'll let you know when the championship fights go down. But, you know, I'm just going to give you a light commentary as we discuss. If you have anything you'd like to talk about in the chat, feel free to drop it in. UFC San Antonio. We're doing our predictions when BKFC is over. Nice uppercuts. Oh, man. Rufin letting them go. I wish we had live stats. For you. Rufin looked just, he's like, come on with this dude. This guy's just clinching onto him. Rufin's like, come on, bro. I want to fight. Santos is just, he's just trying to stay alive. Watch Two Broke Girls and was mesmerized by her chest. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, if you're watching for the breasticles, then okay, fine. Uh, saw Wick 4 last night. John Wick? I actually heard it was pretty good. I, I, I only saw the first one. I got to see the others. But um, I actually heard it was like a good action flick. What girl is hotter than two broke girls? I didn't even know there was another girl on it. I just knew of the girl with the breasts. Yeah, Wick 4. Yeah, people liked it. He dies. Oh, fuck. Remember when Colby Covington used to spoil movies? Whatever happened to that Colby? Like, that was a pretty funny Colby. Like, you didn't want to go near his Twitter. He would spoil every movie for the nerds and virgins. I watched two broke girls from the skinny blonde. I remember my ex used to love it. I couldn't stand it. Could you look past? All right, let me ask the let's ask the boys. This is a very uh, how, how can I put this? I'm gonna ask it anyway. Could you look past a very? Could you date a girl with beautiful breasts but an incredibly annoying voice? Oh boy. Okay, that round, round is done. Could you date a beautiful girl? Right, you you got to go out with this girl. This is your girlfriend now. Could you date this girl? That has a beautiful rack, the best rack you've ever seen in your life, but has a voice. <laughs> I'm talking, you know, I'm talking like squawk voice, you know, like that, like, like a bird voice. You know, some of these girls stunning, but then they open your mouth. You're like, what the, what was that? No. Okay. Earplugs. Okay. But what if she's got a great personality? Like, what if she's a sweetheart? I feel like the voice is the worst. Because if you have that terrible voice, and you decide to marry this person, they're just going to get old and ugly and still have that voice. You know? Voice is important. Pick up your shoes! <laughs> Pick up your shoes! Shaved, let's yes. Shaved. Completely shaved. Let's go, Lou. He says, let's fook it. Go! Pick up your shoes! Dinner's ready! But she's a fucking dime. All right, let's 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 go the whole package. She's a just a drop-dead gorgeous. Just, just fucking a beauty. A 10 out of 10. I'm talking stunning. But when you, when you call her up, and she's like... I can't wait till you get home. <laughs> I just want to suck your dick. Could you look past that? <laughs> could you, could you, could you look past? Does she have money? Yeah, she's got money too. She's loaded. She's hot. Thank you, Ride Drive. This is MMA holes in the house, baby. Ride Drive, black belt. There's a lot of questions, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not the girl's fault, right? It's not their fault. It's like they were born, like they were born with the voice. It's not their fault. I'm still. I love Jesse's voice. Jesse's got a great voice. Yeah, I can't complain. Uh. Okay, so what do we got here? 20 seconds, 18 seconds on the clock. Got a little pause in the action. Was there a little uh, foul that happened? 
Too busy asking questions. All right, they're good to go. I was into this fight in the beginning. I'm not so much anymore. We're going into the third round. I'll let you know what happens. Too busy to being a silly man. The main event, you know, it's funny you say who, because that's a great question. Barnett Jr. versus Alvarez. I was basically like, who the fuck is that? Guy? I have no idea who these guys are. I do know Hart, though. I know Britton Hart. Now Britton Beltran. And this Savage Girl is pretty crazy. She looks like she's someone that would have an OnlyFans, you know? So, okay. That's the co main event, both title fights. I feel like we're peaking here with this fight, to be honest. My buddy Pat Casey just lost. Not happy about that. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought that was Tyler Randall. I thought he was on this card. No, it's a different. I said different. Different white guy. Boomba Clot. Uh, at least she doesn't eat noisily. She has no. Yeah, she she can't. She's not allowed to. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I love my wife's voice except when I am a bad boy. <laughs> hey, I'm... Yeah, even if you have a great voice, it doesn't matter. You can still be annoying in all other ways. You just got to wean out certain things. You know, before you decide to get married, you have to wean out. You have to make sure that they don't check certain boxes or you're screw you're destined for disaster. Yeah. You got to be able to look past it. No one's perfect, right? But you got to be able to look past certain things. If you can't, do not marry that person. Oh, they'll change. That next thing you know, you're going to be looking for addies and baddies. So we're in round. Well, we're in round number four. I, I must have missed a round from our conversation. Come on. There we go. A drop. Santos goes to the ground. And is he sleeping? Oh, no. He's shaking his head. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Santos gets back up. He just bursts back up. 130 on the clock. Santos says, let's keep it going. Rufin looking for the kill shot. The right, the body shot. Santos is barely standing. He clinches up. Oh, man. Santos looking for some hugging and some loving. Rufin looking for some carnage. So it looks like Santos' game plan was just grapple, 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 tire the dude out. And Rufin was like, I'm just going to knock this guy out. One minute left. They clinch up again. Rufin and Santos get split for the 400th time. <clears throat> King of Queens, do you like uh, the way she talks? Uh, I mean, she's super hot. Uh, Leah Remedy? You talking about? Leah Remedy? She's got like a deep voice, right? Right? She's got that deep. Some girls got that, that bass. A lot of bass in the voice. Wonderful, wonderful. Asking for someone in the chat. What about a perfect end but has stinky <laughs> clam? <laughs> oh my god. All right. So Santos takes another seat. Um, thank you, Rye Drive. And is that it? Is that it? Do we have a finish? I think Rufin got it done. I think it is over, baby. Right when that dono comes in, Rufin, a celebratory uh, couple of words to the camera there. He's on his knees. Let's go, baby. Rufin got himself a carnage. Let's get that answered in the chat, please. Carnage! Lick the carnage! Very nice. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. A smoking 10 with a stinky clam. Boys, let it fly. Is that something you could look past? I mean, you could always... There's ways, right? Power wash that shit. I don't know. Always drag her in the shower. I don't know. <laughs> Can you look past it? <laughs> Can you look past oh, it? Ah, super chat. <laughs> what is your least favorite thing about Jess? <laughs> what a question. My least favorite thing about Jess. Uh, hmm. <laughs> My least favorite thing. Uh, 
It's probably the same thing she has about me. It would be stubbornness. We both are very, very stubborn. So, But stubborn to me is like a superpower. I've said this to Jess a million times. A lot of things you can use as a superpower. Narcissism, stubbornness, like all these things that are considered negatives in life. If you put it in the right direction, you can actually do a lot of good out of it. So I'd say stubbornness. And she would probably say the same thing about me. I would say that's that's it. But that's like me pulling, you know, that's what I'm pulling. I think I did good. It doesn't look like many people are are fans of a stinky clam. Got a pass on this thing. <laughs> what do you do? So you just dump them? You just throw them back into the water? After you're done with them? I love seafood. <laughs> Thank you, Vince, though, for the 999. By the way, we're playing the points game. We'll end this thing... Hey, there's no, I'm going to get the belt again. Easy money. Say points to a specific player, person with most points wins. I'll add a couple of seconds onto the clock when, or minutes, whatever, uh, when the BKFC is over. Did I see your pick with the fighters? No. Where are they? Are they in Discord? Let's see. Discord. Let's see. Let's see. Picks with the fighters. Picks with the fighters. Pick, pick, pick. Do we have a face reveal? My brother-in-law is going to show his face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me a sec. I'm trying to figure out this capture card thing. It's still on my mind. Picks with the four. Where can I find them? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Is that Terrence McKinney? Tell my man. We're, we're dragging him on. He can't escape us. Okay, here, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forward these to Monica. Here we go. Here's T-Rec. Here's T-Rec and Ryan hanging out. Here's T-Rex with Kevin Holland hanging out. Let's go. You know what you look like a little bit? Don't take this as an insult. You kind of look like uh, from Family Guy. The son? Was it Chris Griffin? A little bit. Like a, like a better looking Chris Griffin. Very nice T-Rex over there. Right? You guys see what I'm saying? You see it? Is that Adrian Yanez? It looks like it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> he looks like him a little bit, right? <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Good stuff. Looks like he had a good time. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Chris Griffin. <laughs> A little bit. A little bit. Hold on a sec. That looked like a good time, man. So we, that was uh, outside? Was that the fan thing? There. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Good for you, man. I like Ryan. He's a cool dude. I say it all the time. You don't even have... If the UFC is in your town... If, he's in, if the UFC is in your town... What you need to do is you need to take advantage of all the free shift shit, the weigh-ins, the, the fan expos, all this stuff. Especially if you're near Vegas, you got to go. Manhattan was awesome, too, outside of the garden. Like, you can meet all everyone. Everyone that's there, you're just kind of just chilling with them. It's pretty cool. So, um, good on Ryan. Take advantage. Even if you don't have tickets to the fights or whatever, take advantage of that stuff. Rub elbows with the fighters. All right. Having some fun on a Friday night. Let's go hit the like button. We're doing this. We're talking about some bro stuff here. If you're a young lady and you want to counterbalance the conversation, or an old lady, it doesn't matter. If you want to counterbalance the, the sausage conversation that's happening tonight, feel free to ask questions and counterbalance the silly stuff because we're just... We're just being a bunch of goofballs. 
<laughs> I don't think this is so funny. You look like Brendan Fraser and the whale. <laughs> I wanted to see that. My mom said, don't watch. It's too depressing. <laughs> I mean, you got to see the a better look in Chris Griffin. Jeez. You see what I'm saying. If someone was going to draw a caricature, you know Chris Griffin's coming. Uh, do they look smaller on TV? It depends. It depends who you're running into. You know what? Yeah, when I met Robbie Lawler, he was a lot smaller than I thought he would be in person. Robbie didn't seem too big. <clears throat> I remember that's one guy. I'm trying to think if there's any other guys that shot. Well, Luke Thomas in person. Dude, that guy is fucking massive. Luke Thomas is a, his big ass sausage fingers and his giant head. He's not a fighter, but he's fucking huge. All right, who's next? Who's next? Santos took the L. And then we move into Angelini versus Warley. Goo Thomas. Remember Goo Thomas? I had to pull that tweet down. Dude, that was so funny, man. I, I thought that was hysterical, but Jesse made me pull it. Probably smart. Dude, that was like the funniest. Who was that fighter again? Dude, <laughs> we had a good time with that. How many people remember that? That was messed up. <clears throat> Kevin Durant is so skinny in person, I could crush him. Uh, was all I was thinking. Better sausage fingers than sausage hog. Oh my God, Brock Lesnar, dude! Everyone says he's massive. I never got to see him in person. I'm trying to think of who else surprised me. Like Frankie Edgar looked his size. Dominic uh, Cruz looked his size. Uh, Aljo looked his size. Uh, like Quinta looked his size. I'm trying to think if there's anyone that was kind of shocking. I can recall. Other than, Robbie Lowell was the only one that seemed a little smaller in person. Ever think about streaming on Rumble? Yeah, uh, we've yeah people have said it. I don't monetizing. It's a little bit of a pain, and I, I, the algorithm. I don't. I don't know. I don't really want to play that game. Brennan is pretty big, then Lesnar dwarfed him. Yeah, Brennan Schaub, you're saying? Yeah, Schaub's a big dude. <clears throat> you know, I never met Tito. You would think I would have met him. I've been around where he lives, but... Or lived, I should say. And Tito, there's a, a fight promotion... They just started following us, the um, the Arizona promotion over here. I think we're going to wind up running into Tito one of these days. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> Ever think about letting us do a group chat on Discord for a video stream? What? Is, what? For what? What do you mean? A video stream? This is a video. What, like, explain. Yeah, Tito would be funny. I think, yeah, I think we're kind of leaning. Like, Rampage, Tito... And Ryan Bader. I had the pleasure of talking to Ryan Bader a while back. <clears throat> but they're linked into this promotion. So I have a feeling we're going to stumble onto those guys. Here we go. Round number one. Do we care? Do we not care? Let's put the right round here. I don't care. I got to be honest with you. But let's see if we get some carnage. Put round number one. Yeah, it doesn't have much juice, this card. I don't feel I don't feel the juice, the buzz, but still, we had some carnage. So this is Warley versus Angelini. Hey, Angelini, Bison. Damn, yo, Angelini, letting him go. Warley standing right in front of his face. Warley's like, let's have it. Oh, these guys are yeah, these guys are going. These guys are going. Warley coming in hot, and Angelini's just like, I am Italian. I think he's Italian. Angelini coming in with him rights and lefts. Comes in with a left again. Angelini already busted up on the bottom lip. Nice left hand by Warley. Warley looks like, ah, oh, he looks way tighter, though. Why can't an Italian fight? What's that wrong with the Italians? Warley's going to knock him out. Oh, there goes there goes Angelini down to the ground. Dude, Italians can't fight. I don't know what the fuck it is. What's up? 
What's up with the half of me that can't fight? Who am I kidding? All of me can't fight, but the Italian side don't help. He's down. Angelini's probably not going to get back up. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about staying down. He's down. Pizza's down. Worley got the first round finish. Angelini just proves that Italian should stick to pizza. Uh, Harley just put up a 10-minute vid out saying how he was the Vic. He never stops. What, did he put a video out? Let's see. It's weird. Like my, like I said, I, I don't I don't want to talk too much shit on Harley because I got to say, he's been super nice to me. Like, we've been, like, totally cool, you know? And even, like, he fielded some fucked up questions for me. Um, But with that being said... Hello, Mark Harley. Frame. Oh, wait. Thirty-four minutes ago. Frames me for felony DV. The assaults. Oh boy. Let's see what this is. Like this is crazy, man. I wanted to make a quick video uh, about the first time that Luana egregiously attempted. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what? They're... So I guess they're going to go through a messy divorce. So he's making sure. I know this is this is wild, man. Two. I mean, at least he's trying to make content on his channel. What could what are the chat? What's the comment saying here? Did he turn it off? Oh, he left it open. I went through abuse with my first ex-girlfriend, and it was terrible. There were, have been a couple of people in our comments, too. You know, listen, guys get abused, too. Here's the thing. Let me just say this. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I went to UFC 100 to Kutur versus Nagara. It was nuts. My ears are still ringing from Randy's walkout. The oh, crowd boy. went crazy. Will always remember it. Yeah, there, there's some. Yeah, I mean, if you're lucky enough, you can be at some of these events, and you'll never. They'll be like burnt into your fucking brain. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. You were watching this before me. Uh, thank you for the donation. Hey guys, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. You guys have been like extraordinarily generous lately. See, especially in our gaming channel, like it's been. Dude, one, it's one, been one, fucking one. wild. So I appreciate it very much. Shob is a pretty big dude. I saw him and Lesnar about five feet away from me. Lesnar is so big that it's confusing. You start to think you're a different, smaller species, <laughs> like a gnome. Kane is really small, but his head is the size of a Volkswagen. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Kelsey Grammer got abused by his wife. Yeah, listen. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, this is this is a, a tough topic to tackle because you know, there are some crazy women out there. Like there are very here's the thing, women, you know, guys are assholes. We do stupid things, we make stupid decisions, we say stupid things. There's a lot of dumb things that we're like a bunch of apes and chimps and monkeys. We make a lot of mistakes and say a lot of the wrong things. Women do the same, but they have hormones attached to logic, you know? So, you know, if you mix a little bit of, you know, craziness with hormones, I mean, you're talking some serious shit. So, who knows? I mean, listen, I don't think Mark's perfect <laughs> by any means. A lot of his stories have holes in them. A lot of them. I'm listening to him, and he's going into detail. If you can't answer the narcissist question, that's, that's like... I set a bunch of traps. If you walk into those traps and you don't realize you're you're walking into these traps, you know, there's massive red flags that pop up in my mind, right? Just trying to assess the situation. But at the end of the day, I wasn't there. I didn't see it in person. I saw video clips, this and that. I saw they're both being wrong. But more on the fact of her being crazy, you know? And from the limited experience I have with Mark, he's been very cordial to me. He's been nice. So I don't really have much bad to say about Mark as a person, although his stories do have holes in them, okay? This video dropped. It's just like, it, it's the pile on. It's just, I, I don't I don't know what, what's the, 
Do I make uh, a Marcus Harley escape? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, but I can't show it because I'm going to get nailed. I'm too white for uh, Salsa Verde Doritos. <laughs> what? Dude, you no know one's too white for that shit. There's no such thing. They don't discriminate. They hate your tongue. You're good. Who frame me for domestic violence when she, in fact, initiated preemptive violence against me and uh, doing the most basic self-defense to keep her from doing additional damage or just to get her off of me. She used that as a predicate to call the police. Um, and once again, this was while I was attempting to move out after she had told me. Okay. Well, I mean, this is just more... I, know, I wonder what the reasoning for releasing this is. Like, what's going on? It's going to get to the point, though, eventually, everyone's just going to be like, ah, we had enough. You know, we're going to need a new, like, the shop thing's interesting. The relationship thing is interesting to a point, but it's more of the shop. People care about more about the shop stuff, right? Um, I feel like this is going to just hit the wall, and then everyone's going to ignore it. So maybe it's just trying to get it all out now when people like really care before people just like, yeah, okay, we're good. I gotta be honest with you. Like, unless he's talking to me, I don't like, I don't think I could listen to 10 minutes of this, a deposition. There's a few uh, cases of men, uh, getting abused in relationships. It's uh, generally a woman. Oh, super chat. So we'll talk about that in a sec. Always get sick of GFS during the honeymoon stage. Pens a face. Uh, always get sick of uh, girlfriends during the honeymoon stage. <laughs> oh man, I wish I can just get into detail like of my my experiences, but that's just kind of wrong. So I can't really I can't get too detailed. But um, yeah, I get I, I get it. Uh. Some studies of emotional experience indicates that women may indeed be more emotionally, uh, hold on, responsive than men. Well, what is Jesse putting in here? I don't know what the hell the rest of that is. So biologically, on average, women are more uh, reactive than men. That's that's wonderful, that is wonderful. true. It's it's just it's not their fault. It's just hormones. Salutations just came from John Wick Four. So much crazy action. Mm. I think you will enjoy and no more bombs. I need to behave. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sonosi. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. We're all, By the way, we're all over the place tonight. We got bare knuckle that we're going to be reacting to a little bit more. We'll go through the rest of that car. We're going to do a fight predictions for UFC San Antonio. But we're just chilling tonight. You know, we're just having a discussion. Just talking, shooting the shit. You know, just hanging out. Um, but yeah, guys are victims too. There's no doubt about it. Even if you're big with muscles. Actually, if anything, if you're a guy like Mark Harley, there's a chance you're even more of a victim, you know? But I, I got to say, like, <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't perfect. Women have less emotional regulation skills. Yeah, I think if you have pre-existing issues... And then you intertwine um, hormones with that. There's just no way to battle it. Like, you're going to be a little loony. There are vids of him sh uh, shouting in the back. And uh, she got... Hold on. She got a bite mark on her face? Wait, what? Who is this? Is that Luana? If I find male Karen uh, talking about male abuse in the comment section than any woman... If I find more male Karen talk, what? Wonderful, wonderful. What's he saying? Kainoto. Anyone else think that Down syndrome Brad Pitt is faking these incidents with his ex <laughs> in order to catapult their social media footprint? Damn Sausage is going to star in the spin off <laughs> called John Lick. It's set in San Francisco in the 70s. <laughs> no, I think these two were in a fucked up eight year nightmare relationship. And they're both glutton for punishment. I think they were comfortable with the fact of being with someone, but they there was nothing that they had in common. Like there was, it was just, it was, they were just stuck in this whirlwind of just 
drama. I also think this is this is a theory, but I think majority of their arguments were because of um, accusations of cheating. She probably went off the deep end because she thought he was cheating, whether he was or he wasn't. I think that was a big issue throughout the relationship. Once you break trust, once trust is done, move on. As soon as as soon as you break trust, don't even oh they forgave me, they took me back. No, just fucking separate. S trust me, separate. It's always going to be in the back of their head or your head. It's always going to be back here. If you if your spouse has cheated on you, it will always be back here. I know people that have forgave and 20 years down the road, they still can't get it out of their head. Just move on, baby. Don't don't forgive and forget. Forgive and leave. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the best advice I can give you. Because you're literally going to be trapped in a nightmare. I think she cheated and uh, then it broke their relationship. She could have cheated too. Yeah. Very possible. You'll never live it down. Forgive uh, and leave. You could forgive and leave, or you could not forgive and just leave. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I know people that are in relationships still, and um, they they continue to do bad things because, you know. Or fights keep on happening because they just can't get that out of their head. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like you described my relationship to a T. You know, I know it's it's a drastic thing to say, but once you've gone there, you've you've seriously set that relationship back tremendously. No matter how much you love somebody, you know what I'm saying? I I'm just saying, I don't know, I just feel like wonderful, wonderful. That's the best advice I can give you. When Roid Rage meets crazy bitch bad things happen. What did she expect? Dude looks like he is trained to be a woman in a male's body. Dude looked like he trying to win a women's bodybuilding world title. I don't know. Hey, he's from LA, man. I don't know. I right, gotta get the lip. I don't know if he. Ha I gotta ask him next time. Did he have lip injections or something? Like that's that's. I gotta put that on a list. What if you don't think she actually cheated? Listen, if if there's no evidence of them cheating, you can't accuse someone of cheating. You can't, like, if you can't prove that they're cheating, there's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta, but if you constantly have that in the back of your head, you're better off breaking up with them anyway, because you're a fucking lunatic. <laughs> you know, if you're constantly thinking your partner's cheating on you, and they're, they're saying they're not, and there's no evidence that they are, get out. There's so many people in this world. There's so many people. I mean, just move on. You know? On to the next. It's the best advice. This is this is some old wonderful, wonderful. This is some old man advice I'm giving you guys. Maybe most random dono. Not sure it's possible. I got an email from someone whose email was Sir Isaac Nutton. <laughs> but to important question, Moss, I need to know. Is cheesecake really just pie? <laughs> is cheesecake cheesecake to me is it's it kinda is a pie, right? But to me it's its own thing. Cheesecake is its own category. You know? You got your chocolate mousse cake. You can have a cannoli cake. You can have a pie. You can have all... Like, it's 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 in its own world. It's not a pie. It's a cheesecake. Thank you. What a donation. <laughs> Isaac Nutton. I know nothing about pies. I know cheesecake is delicious. I do know that. Cheesecake is like like top tier desserts. It's in the top five. A good cheesecake, you drizzle some cherries or strawberries on top. Come on. Come on. But like real cheesecake. Not fucking, not, not the, the frozen one that you find in the grocery store. Get, get that real cheesecake. Get that New York style cheesecake. Bro. It's like life changing. It's a light. Now, if you are lactose intolerant, they have lactose-free cheesecakes. You can you could dive into that as well. Although, cannoli cream is so good. Like a, a cannoli, so good. 
Um, I'm a sucker oh, for a chocolate chip super cookie. Super chat. <laughs> she doing? cheated with Luke Rockhold. I'm not joking. So I wish I knew this. Okay. All right. I so wish I knew that before last interview. I so wish I knew that because you're not the only one that said this. Or maybe you're the one that's trying to drill this into my head. But I've, I've heard this before. Is that true? Was Luana running around with Luke Rockhold? Is there any truth to this or is this still, you know, is this a theory? Because I would, either way, I, I'm going to ask him the next time I talk to him. Is there any truth to that? Truth to that. Truth to that. I would love to know. <laughs> I got to refer to JVM's channel. Find a recipe, make it, and hit the like button. What's your favorite dessert? What is your favorite? Like, what's like top tier dessert? You ever have a cannoli cake? You ever have a cake with cannoli cream in it? Oh my God. You know what's a fucking, oh, a Napoleon cake. My goodness. That, oh, it's sweet. It's just layers of joy. A cannoli, um, a uh, a Napoleon cake, a good one. Don't get fucking an Arizona one. My in-laws were nice enough to bring me an Arizona Napoleon. Don't do it. Just don't. Just go to a, like a tr like a true Italian bakery and get a Napoleon. If you're in an Italian bakery, get a Napoleon cake. Come back to me. Let me know your thoughts. It's so good. Napoleon cake. It's so good. So, so good. It's got like a custard in there. There's like a flaky couple of levels in there. Then it's got this frosting on top. That's like, it's like a, it's like a vanilla with a chocolate, chocolate drizzle on top with this crispy crust on the, like, just like layers and cream on the inside. My goodness. I can so go for that right now. A Napoleon. It's really good. Wonderful, wonderful. Kainoto. Moss, I say you should do a movie review for John Wick over at the clubhouse. I'm watching it tonight stoked. I'd ask Sausage to join us, but he ain't watching it. He's gonna walk out of the theater with a belt buckle indentation <laughs> on his forehead. <laughs> uh, I actually have John Wick. It's on my app. So I, I do have to watch the second and third. So what I'm thinking about doing is running the first one back because I don't think Jesse's seen any of them. I was thinking about just doing maybe a John Wick marathon. I don't know how far she can go because it is a little out there. But I did hear four was very good. So I got to catch up. I, got, I still got to see the last James Bond. The fucking... Wow, we are, are we already... <laughs> We're in the co-main event. Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Fight Buddies. We're talking about desserts. Draw, uh, damn savages, sausage, damn sausage is up. Uh, what am I talking about? Here's Britain Hart or Britain Beltran. I don't know why she's still Britain Hart. I thought she was Britain Beltran. Did they get divorced? By the way, she's supposed to come on the show. We had something linked up, and then uh, there was a scheduling difficulty. Uh, but um, if you want her to come on, I will dive down that rabbit hole. If she wins, I'll reach back out. I think she will win. Even though she's fighting a, uh, Sausage's sister over here. Another savage. <clears throat> sausage savage. Dude, this... Wait, I just realized something. I think we got no points. I think there's zero points that came in. Like, donations came in, but I don't think anyone said points to a specific player. This might be the first night, night zero points. I'm going to go and still with nothing on. By the way, Sinosi's almost taken out as the stream boss. Just slipping by over here. 22 points. Sinosi's taken out of the stream boss. This could be the easiest points game of all time. So if you want to get a prize from the store, you better get in the game. Da -da 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 okay, Britain's in there. Went down a weight class because she's afraid of Christine Ferreira. Just saying. Co-main events. The strawweight championship is on the line. And we're going to pretend we care. 
Is Beltran in a corner? Wait, did Britton Hart, did she separate from her husband? No, right? Did Britton celebrate? Did she separate? Why is she Britton Hart? Wait a second. They are very lovey dovey. So, can you imagine having an argument with your girlfriend and your girlfriend is Britton Hart? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. Oh, boy. Uh, box no boxing made history did not reach out. That is a fucking bummer. He did not reach out. I, and that guy's super cool too. Dropped some big donos. Did not reach out. Britton Hart. Wait a second. Is Beltran in her corner? The last I saw, they were super. They were super lovey dovey. I. Is Beltran, he's usually there. Is that him? Who's holding the belt? That's not her husband. What? Wait a second. Did they split? Did Britton Hart and Beltran split? Does anyone know the answer? I was wondering where the hell... Why is she not Beltran anymore? When did this happen? Oh my god. Okay. Round one has begun. Hart versus Savage. Does anyone have an answer? We're in round one. So Hart went down, got the belt, now defending against the Savage. Savage, very tiny. Hart just waving around that left hand, looking to engage here. Savage slowly circling. Savage has a lot of clothes on. Long-ass shirt, tail. And Savage is just doing some circling right now, just taking her time as Hart is slowly moving in. She cheated on him. Wait, is this true? There's a pic of them together on her Instagram. We need... I want the dirt, man. Oh, shit. The clock didn't start. Fook. Give me the dirt. Give me that dirt. If you see BKFC jump into the screen, stream, ask him. Say, yo, what happened? All right. So, a little cautious. Oh, there's a nice right hand by Hart coming in, trying to cut off Savage. Both girls are being very respectful. Oh, and there's a right by Hart. Oh, man, Hart looking big, strong, and fast here. At this strawweight championship bout, so tiny is Savage. Massive difference in height. What is the... Oh, my God, I got to see the tail of this thing. Nothing's happening. They're just throwing the jab hand out there. They're not landing. Hart's got a lot of respect for Savage. No picks together of them. What? Like, no joke. A couple weeks ago, I just saw them all lovey-dovey. What the fuck? The tail of the tape. Uh, five, seven, five foot. Wow, seven inches. Seven inches taller. Oh, Hart, either right, she had a right hand there. Oh, a left hand, Savage. And Hart's just trying to swing through. Damn, Hart came in aggressive and Savage just stares at her. At the end of the first round, Savage just chilling. They split. <laughs> I can't get that out of my head. What? She was running around saying how much she was in love. I'm going to hold on a second. I know who to text. I know who to text. Stand by. Stand by.
Stand by. <laughs> Stand by. I know. I know who to text. I know how to get to the bottom of this. I'm doing the Lord's work. I got you covered. Don't worry. I'm going to figure this out. All right. So at 132, we'll sync this puppy up. Actually, no. Here, 141. 140. Wow. They're, I'm surprised. Beltran, I mean, Hart, Hart very, very cautious coming in on Savage. But she's taking her time. She's throwing that jab out there. Savage is close to the ropes. And Hart's just, just throwing that jab out there. She's not really landing, although Savage does have a cut under her left eye from that first round. Savage is waiting. And Hart is very respectful of the power of Savage. Savage is standing there with her five-foot stance, waiting for Britain to make a mistake. And Hart is just afraid to go in there. She's very scared. It's like she's trying to fight a bee. She don't want to get stung. so weird. Usually you see Hart very aggressive. I mean, here she throws her right hand in there. She's putting the left out some more. This is the co-main event. Title on the line. And Savage is just standing her ground, but not much landing. How socials, guys? How socials? The fight goes on while Moss gets uh, to the bottom of uh, the dating game. Yeah, let's do it, baby. I got, you know, I got a job to do here. I got I got to please the people as no punches are coming in again. So Hart barely threw anything. There's 20 seconds left this round. It's just a bunch of swinging and missing. This is crazy. There's a left. It looks like it grazed on the face and then she keeps throwing the left out there, but it's not landing. Both girls just swinging and missing. What a what a weird fight. All right, round 2. Oh, there we go. Britain lands a right hand there, a left to follow. Comes with a right, and there's a left hand by Savage. Not much landing at all. Dude, what a waste. What a waste of two rounds. What is going on with this fight? Usually the girls are nuts. But I guess with that title in the mix, things have changed. we got to find out what's going on here. More importantly, why is she not a Beltran? <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, are you upsetting uh, two uh, viewers up on... Are you setting two viewers up on a date or something? Am I setting two viewers up on a date? What do you mean? <clears throat> Don't got the app. What? How do you not? Everyone's watching this. Don't worry. You're not missing anything. All right. We'll get ready for round number three. Where can I find the Molina? They so Molina said his boy is tech savvy and, and made sure it got all off the internet. But there are screenshots if you want to see his face around what seems to be a penis. Okay, here we go. Round three. You coming in? Round three. Let's see if we're gonna be more swatting of flies. As Britton Hart's throwing that left out there again. Let's hope something connects. 147 on the clock. It's a lot of swinging, 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 throwing a hand, but out the jab, 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 trying to set up the right hand and not landing. As Savage is backing up, she's circling the ropes a little bit. Oh, my God, dude. What the hell? All right, let's adjust the end. This is terrible, man. I'm sure Feldman's not happy about this. I'm sure. Jessie's bringing in. She's bringing in a beach ball. She's bringing it in. She's bringing in the beach ball, baby. More jabs missing by Hart. And Savage showing a little damage. And the ref is kind of like, you guys got to do something here. A lot of swinging and missing. Oh, there's the right hand by Britain. That stumbles on Savage. And Savage went down quickly. The ref gives her a count. So Savage is acting like she's fine, but she did get dropped as Hart barely landed anything. 
She finally got through, and Savage took a fall. There's a little blood coming out of the nose now. Now there's to match the cut under the left eye on Savage. Britain, look out! Isn't it crazy? Britain is five seven. Savage five foot. Like, very big difference in height. I don't know what the reach is. Savage is trying to come in with a flurry. A little bit lands on Hart. Hart just keeps on throwing the punches out there and missing. But I guess all she's got to do is connect at one. 15 seconds left. And more swinging and missing. CBD. And we got CBD coming in. CBD. 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 Three in the book. CBD. CBD. It helps with uh, healing process and uh, inflammation and stuff like that. So you want to get these for before or after the fire training and make your life a make better place. Make it a better place. Thank you so much, t -Bay. Put sober in the game. Big ass fucking mystical mouse. Much love, okay, man. Okay, let's Kai go, noto. <laughs> Let's go. We got our first competitor in the game. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? The wolf? Actually, just call, call the rest. We got championship rounds coming. Let me try to find... Where is he? Oh, there's the wolf. I know. I knew he was there somewhere. Okay, so we'll put the wolf in the game. I uh, will add two points, and that puts the wolf in the lead. And Sinosi's almost taken out as the stream boss. We got movement here. We got movement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the wolf is in first place looking to get the prize from the store. By the way, this wheel gets spun. You could basically say the game is over. I mean, the way things are going right now, Sinosi, 18 points. The wheel gets spun. Just throwing it out there. Okay. Round four. You want me to take it or you want it? It's a lot of <laughs> swinging and missing. It. You want to jump in? Or you, well, you want to get warmed up? Uh, all right, you'll get warmed up. I'll take this nasty fight. The next one will be better. Is this the coming? Yeah. All right, I'll finish it off. You can call the next one. Nah, all right, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Hart is controlling the center, looking to move forward on Savage, coming in with a couple jabs that are not landing. These girls are just swinging their fists, not landing anything with a minute and a half left of the fourth round, only two rounds left in this fight. A right hand comes in by Savage. Man, this sucks. <laughs> it's been... And, and Hart did drop Savage once. Hart comes in with for the right hand, lands on the chest. Savage with a head movement. Savage now closer to the outside. Hart looking to play inside the pocket. Comes in for some more strikes upstairs, but doesn't land anything. <laughs> she's swinging like she's got crisp striking. It's just not landing on it on Savage. Here we go. Savage tries to play inside the pocket. Comes in for a combination, and Hart lands some counters. It's terrible. It's it's wonderful. wonderful. It is terrible. Any truth to the rumor that Sausage is a secret character in the UFC game? <laughs> I heard Gag Reflex is listed on his tail of the tape. He fights out of the Molina Fight Factory and is sponsored <laughs> by Kirby Vacuums. <laughs> Point Sausage. Okay. Here we go. It's sausage in the game. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, here you go. Heart walking Savage down as Savage turns it around to the opposite side of the squared circle. Hart coming in with left hands right. Nothing lands. Savage with the right hand lands. Every time Hart throws a strike, it's like she's like um, shadow boxing. She doesn't land anything on Savage. Look at this move over here, by the way. Uh, the Gazarian came in. Thank you. Not a spin, but there was one point away from a spin, and someone came in with a $2 donation. Wow, that picture is creepy as fuck. Is that your... Wait. Cause, <laughs> whoa! Wonderful, Hold wonderful. on, I'm gonna show it in a second here. Kaza, Kaza, put me in the game points, Mystic. Let's go, Kaza! Let's go, champ! And Kaza with a very, I gotta say, very creepy. Look at it! Look at it! Whoa! Whoa! Kaza, baby! Uh, Kaza came in, became the stream boss, made Mystic. Hold on! Hold on! This is exciting, Kaza! This is exciting, boys! Uh, let's give the points over here, Jesse. You ready? Ready for this magic? Mm -hmm. Ready for, to stay and still? I'm ready, Moss. You ready to hit the hundo? Because we're about to spin a rooski. Thank you so much, Kaza. Playing the game how it should be played. Let's get the first spin of the evening. Come on, let's go! I need a hundo. I need a hundo. We're getting ready for the fifth round in BKFC. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, not enough, not enough. 
All right, I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Here we go. Final round. Just going to jump in. Thank you so much, Kaza, man. Appreciate that. Round five. Fifth and final round. Both girls start off tapping the gloves. Hart trying to move around the outside of Savage. Savage just kind of maintaining her position here. Hart doing the same thing she always does. I don't know. What is she swinging at? Like, what is she swinging at? She's just fighting she, to just She's fighting win. air. She's swinging at air. <laughs> like, what? She looks retarded out there. Like, okay, here we go. Nice right hand finally lands on the schnoz of Savage. Savage now being backed up to the ropes. In Salah. Oh, overhand left coming in here by Hart. I'm sorry, by Savage landing on the head of Hart. That was actually a pretty good shot. Total strikes uh, thrown by Hart. <laughs> 127. Only landed 46 of them. It's nuts, man. What the hell, man? What are you swinging at? 103 on the clock. Hart pressuring Savage to the outside. Still swinging those arms around, but just shadow boxing. It's got to be embarrassing, right? I oh, mean, I'm if sorry, you're a professional time. fighter... People take you seriously. You go out into the into the ring and you're shadow boxing. I mean, listen, I understand Brit, uh, Britain Hart. I, I'm trying to say Beltran, but Britain Hart is the champion. She just wants to keep that belt. But she looks ridiculous, Moss. She's not. She's not. She's swinging at air. This is very. This is not typical of the lady fights. She's having a fight with the atmosphere. Thirty seconds left. Finally, they clinch up and we get something going here. These girls are finally landing some shots, and Hart is pressuring Savage against the ropes. The ref splits them up. And back to square one. Inside the center is Hart. Savage on the outside. The terrible fight. Terrible, man. <laughs> I mean, listen. Good game plan for Britain. Moss can show you the fight right now. If he, if he wanted to play um, Hart, all he has to do is stand up and start shadow boxing. Oh, your Savage is landing now. Oh. Here we go. One, two landing by Hart to end the round. And that's the end of the entire fight. <laughs> Savage threw her hands up like she won. That was bad. That was that was pretty bad. But like I said, I understand. Britain Hart, listen, why take crazy chances out there? You know what I'm saying? Why take crazy chances? Nah, I'm saying. You just wanna you wanna just defend that belt. Moss, I'm officially big enough to rest my snacks on my belly. I gotta say this, you're very messy. Did you notice? When uh, I clean up your section over there, I don't know what's there's bottles everywhere, there's crumbs everywhere. It's water bottles, relax. You just dropped crumbs all over the floor again? No, I just dropped this. <laughs> Stop making things up. Her side of the studio. Is, ah, okay. What are we doing here, Baba? Okay. She got, she got, hold on. I can officially rest. She got a little rest for her chips. Logan, Logan, the top of Logan's head. Yeah, look at the stats here, Jess. 58 landed, one, oh, 59 landed, 116, 160 thrown. Oh my God, dude. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Disgusting. Disgrazia. We, we need to get her on. Wonderful, wonderful. Immediately. Is sausage gay? Kai noto or kai noto? Help clear this a big mystical please. It's getting confusing. PTS Soberman. He is. But it's okay. We don't discriminate here. We like... We like all sorts... Heterosexual, gay, it doesn't matter. But, you know, we will not criticize, we will not stand for anyone saying bad things about our savage. I mean, sausage, okay? He is our sausage. And we love, we love that sausage. Wait, what did I do here? Did I, what did I fucking do? I just gave sausage the points. Uh, that's to the wolf. Sorry. Sorry, sausage. There we go. Thank you, D-Man, for the donation. I just got rid of Guy Lord too. What a fight. Who do you think won that fight? Um I'm gonna say Britain Hart by default, but <clears throat> I think neither of them should uh should hold the belt. Yeah, I saw uh disappointed Dunsky say wait hold. Hold on. Well they're arguing with each other. The girls are arguing with each other. I know all I was thinking about was Ellie. How she's saying wait now all the time. Wait, 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 wait. wait <laughs> Everything's wait. wait. If you go walking in the other room without her, wait, wait, wait. 50-44. 49-45. David Feldman, 
is not even he's not even he didn't even put any drama to that. He just started I mean, walking over you? to Britain. It's not even like come on. Ellie and Logan are gonna scrap five times a day. I tell you what, Britain looks she looks she looks like I don't know, she let's see let's hear what she has to say. She's poor Ew. ill. She's pouring energy drink on herself. What? Ew. She's got mixed emotions. We can, yeah, she split from. These two were like madly in love. Like it was disgusting. Like they were like. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh my about. god. They were like super couple. All of a sudden, they're not together. What the hell? Usually, the, the couples that are most public about it have the most going on behind closed doors. Like, that are the whole "I love you" and <laughs> it all that stuff. It freaks me out. All right, so she's a four. <laughs> Someone said she's a four. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, that's that's fucking crazy, man. Well, Britain wins. She stays and still. So, so that's the thing. <sighs> okay, not the best of fights. We get ready for the main event. This card's been... You missed a Pat Casey, Jess. Remember a Bud Pat, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't go his way. It didn't go his way. Poor Pat. But he's... Uh, it, was, it was interesting. I think he kind of got screwed, to be honest. By the... Uh, wait, wait. The ref. Wait, wait. All right, so we got a game now. Look at this, guys. Try to catch me, motherfuckers. Thank you to Kaza over there giving me the lead. 27 for the Mystic. I'm about to stay in still. No one's taking that belt away from the Mystical Moss. Try to get it. Try to get it, baby. Try. Just give it a shot. You're never going to get it because it's my belt. I'm going to get the belt. And that's... Wonderful, wonderful. Because Stone Chris says so, Jesse. Stone Chris? <laughs> Because Stone Chris says so. Who's Stone Chris? Stone Chris Steve Austin, Jesse. Oh. Stoned Chris. Stoned Chris Steve Austin. Yikes, Moss. Stoned Chris. Stone Chris says so. <laughs> That's going to be my new slogan. You should be called Stoned Chris. Stoned Chris. You ever hear of that guy, Stoned Chris? Watch out for him. He's the scariest host on the internet. Stoned Chris. Stoned Chris. You know, legends will be told about Stoned Chris. Some say he may even be mystical. What do you mean, cheer up? I'm not, I'm in the I'm like in the most content mood in the world right now. I got my Fritos. I got my water. The baby's sleeping. <clears throat> I'm relaxing. I did so much laundry today, so I'm pretty happy about that. There's nothing better than the uh, moss. Do you ever get that? Um, feeling of satisfaction when you finish a load of laundry when I do, you used to do your laundry i do get that feeling of satisfaction anytime i finish a load jesse <laughs> because stone chris says so jesse <sighs> i'm gonna take two bottles of gummies smash them together they're gonna and then just <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that's gonna be my thing crack two bottles of gummies together What's going to be my finishing move? What is Stone Cold Steve Austin, what does he finish with? What's he? What what's do you his, mean? The stunner. The stone, the stone Cold Stunner, right? That's his thing? The stunner? Is that his thing? Let's see if I can remember. What is it? The Stone Cold Stunner. I think that's what it's called. Hold on. Let's check. I'm going to do that. That's going to be my move. People are going to show up at meetups, and they're going to be like, yo, stun me, bro. Stun me. You got it. <laughs> stone Cold Stunner. Yeah, this is it. This is it right here. Yeah, I'm gonna practice. Here, look, look here. That's the stunner right there. He grabs it on the shoulder and he just fucking drops down. I feel like every wrestler does that. No, nah, it's the stone. It's gonna be my move. That's my move. Cause Stone Chris says so. Okay, we're getting ready for the main event. What's your nickname? You got to be a wrestler I don't, now. I don't need to be a wrestler. JBM. What? What? Like what wrestler has? 
like three letters. Triple H. Uh, I don't know any wrestlers. I don't. Three, like who has three letters? How about The Big Show? <laughs> That's going to be your pregnant name, Ugh, The Big I'm Show. I'm such a whale right now. Don't uh, mind me. I do feel like The Big Show right now. Does your name go? Yeah, your name is here, baby. It's actually right over there. Is that your face or is that? Uh, tell me whose face this is, though. It looks like you peeled someone's face off and put it on yours. Like it looks like you're a serial killer. What was this? What was it? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre where they peeled off the face and put it on them? And it, starts, it looks like you peeled. I don't know. Someone. I've never seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It looks like you could have peeled someone's face off and put it on yours. I do appreciate the points, though. But I do have to be honest with you. It looks like you peeled someone's face off. You don't know who fa whose face that is? <laughs> That's creepy, man. Yeah, wait. You don't have that face in the chat. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I don't know, man. That's that creepy, though. That's true. Yeah, look at his face. He's got a beard. <laughs> That's creepy. I'm getting off of the stream. That's off the stream. Yeah, so because you were the... Uh, what's it called? Hold on a second. Because you were the stream boss, you slipped in. You said points... Uh, hold on. Oh, you said put me... Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me let me back it up. You said put me in the game. Points to Mystic. Wait, how do we, how do, we do this? Wait, hold on a second. I only saw points to Mystic. So this, the spin was for you, but his name goes on the board. Okay, so I got to take two points away from me and... Okay. Well, that's weird. That's a first. So I'm only 25, right? And then I got to put him in the game. Well, that was a weird thing. Okay. I put Kaza. Take out, we'll take out that one, Gur. Did you see what they did to that one, Gur, last night? What? They put her under a BBC on a t-shirt. What do you think about that? There was a BBC dribbling on her. What? <laughs> what? It was actually it was actually hilarious. You have a picture of her? Yeah, yeah, it was it was no, what? it was her name. It was her name. Oh. It was that t-shirt game? Oh, I'm putting her back in. Oh, that's hilarious. Why what did they do that? Kaza? Yeah, all caps. What was the motive behind that? Um, no, it was just a t-shirt game. Her she was just a victim of the the BBC. That's pretty funny. <laughs> you getting much uh, tips uh, Hold on Mosh you getting much tips recently Much tips what do you mean Actually donations yeah We've been doing great with that You guys have been fucking awesome I did a test stream And Sonosi dropped a 50 Like that was Very impressive Did not expect that Uh Uh, 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 is that Glove Touch with the picture? No, Glove Touch has got a big fancy beard. Isn't this guy on the Love right? Glove Touch looks weird. Speaking of looking weird, the guy with Chris Lytle, he used to be the Bellator announcer. He looks so fucking weird, it's his right? Nose. It's no, the nose. his eyes. His eyes no, are so it's far close. Watch, watch when he looks at the camera. Watch. And the hairline. No, watch when he looks at the camera. Watch, watch, watch. Check it out. I forgot the guy's name. Who's the uh, look? Oh, it is his eyes. Yeah, you're right. Have you ever seen eyes so far apart? Yeah, it looks like alien eyes. No, they look like praying mantis eyes on the sides of their heads. He's like E.T. No, he no, looks like E.T. No, you know like the praying mantis, how their eyes are on like the side of their head? Check this out, Jesse. That's what it looks like. You tell me that this does not look like him. A little bit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Elliot. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Ma, is that why? Stop clapping because Stone Chris says so. Is that why you chose the name Ellie for our daughters? Because it was the female version of Elliot, and you were you had like an emotional connection to ET. I love ET. 
It's is still, that why? It still gets me emotional. Is that why you picked Ellie? I bet that is why. That's Ellie. Why. Guarantee it. I would have just named her E.T. That doesn't make sense. It's I would have named her It. It. I would have named her It. I think I've debunked the uh, mystery. Has anyone ever... Has anyone ever sang e the E.T. song to you? Like, that's how great of a husband no. I am. Like, what husband would <laughs> sing the E.T. song to their wife in front what, of 170 people? What man people? sings the E.T. song Think about in the that. first place? Not many guys would have the balls yeah. to fucking serenade their wife with the E.T. song in front of 170 people. Yeah. Sounds pretty special. You're a lucky gal. <sighs> Couldn't find a better man. E.T. terrified you? I'll never forget. I called in sick from school. <laughs> like it's work. Um, and I lied there on the... I used to lie on the floor. My parents' dining room. And there was a TV in there. And it was all curled up in my blankets on the floor. And I popped E.T. in the VCR. That's how old I am. The VCR, Jesse. The VCR. I popped it in there. And I'm watching the Reese's Pieces being eaten. I'm watching the kids just fucking have the grand old time with this alien that came from another planet, Jesse. I mean, a young Drew Barrymore. A whole thing. And then E.T. got sick, Ellie. And I, saw, I thought that fucking alien was going to die. And even though I knew he was going to live because I saw it already. But he, me and my teens sat there and weeped like a little baby on the floor. I'm like, God, he's going to live. He's going to fucking live. Hmm. He did live. Thank God. Thank God. Sad movie. Spoiler alert, he lives. I've never seen it all the way through. What? I can't sit through it. You're crazy. It's annoying. It annoys e. me. E.T.'s annoying? Ugh, I hate it. It annoys the fuck I out of me. I feel like I feel like right now, I should I should just fucking do this to you right now. <laughs> I feel like because you said that about E.T., I should just see this sucker come. <laughs> One's in the chat if you think she deserves that for something horrible about the movie E.T. I'm sure it's a good movie, but I just, I don't know, like, I get five minutes in and I'm like, ah, I don't care. Like, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. What? There's nothing interesting about it to me. Are you crazy? I, I it, it doesn't do it for me. E.T.? I could, I'd rather fold 20 loads of laundry than If you think about it, it's, I mean, watch Drew movie. Barrymore was a, it was a baby in that. That, sh that shows you how old that movie is. She was is. annoying. She was really she annoying. She was a kid. She was really she was annoying. Really. It was like a dysfunctional family. Like, it was a, it's a fucked up movie, man. I can't. But it just has so much heart. Overrated. Dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Overrated? Think about how that movie holds up all these years, Jesse. It was a movie. So many movies literally stole that storyline. If you watch Bumblebee, that fucking Bumblebee movie, it's legit. What is Bumblebee? It's the Transformer. It's literally the Transformers version oh, of E.T. Oh, the, yeah, Shia LaBeouf movie, that one? No, no, Bumblebee. Oh. Have you ever seen it? It's actually no. pretty good, actually. I've only seen the Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. All the, all the Transformer movies are terrible. But there was a Bumblebee movie that was out. I'm like, this is Transformers E.T. Like, it's exactly what it was. Uh -huh. So many movies stole the plot of E.T. That's how good it is. The extraterrestrial racism against aliens. Jesse. Ra racism. Against that poor alien that just wanted to go home. The speak and spell, Jesse. Have you ever played with a speak and spell? I don't even know what a speak and spell What is. the f You don't even <laughs> know it. I had not only the speak and spell. I had the E.T. version of speak and spell. They were speak and spell. And then they had the E.T. voice version. What is speak and spell? Can you just tell me? All right, I'll look it up since you're not going to tell me. I probably know what it is. Now that's just from the 80s. I had the ET version. Speak and spell. What a, what a toy that was. Anyone old enough to remember that? That's that's an old toy. Speak and spell. Yep. 
This thing looks like a calculator. <laughs> to speak and spell. Blue and orange what, calculator. What year did that come out? It's like in the 80s, right? Moss chose Ellie because he thought it was spelled Ellie. Much easier to spell on government documents. Just make sure he doesn't do more damage with Logan Paul Moss. <laughs> Logan Paul Moss. Thank you, Tropic Tom. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. How dare you? How dare you not? How dare you say? You see, you haven't you ever seen a speaking spell? It is pretty old. It looks like a, cal a plastic calculator. So the speaking spell is is like words. I actually so what, I forgot how it works. It? No, it's like you type. How did it work again? I can't remember now. Like it was a big red thing, and it had a bunch of letters on it. And I remember it had E.T.'s voice. It was like, eh, eh, eh. Like, I don't remember what the hell it was. It was like, you would punch the letters in. I was very young. But I remember loving it because E.T. was in it. Moss, you're so old. I know. It's okay. I, I know. I'm going to watch E.T. with Ellie. Me and Ellie are going to watch it one day. And we're not going to invite you. Okay. And we're going to cry together. Logan and I will just be <laughs> sitting in the corner. We're going to cry and cry. Sob Who during cries e. during ET? No one. I'm curious if I watch it now. Am I gonna get emotional? You're still gonna cry. I might. You cried during Hong Kong or King Kong. <laughs> Hong, Kong? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. King Kong. You, King Kong. You cried a sad during movie. King Kong. They should have done that. During King Kong. They shouldn't have done that. He's a, the monkey what? did nothing he, wrong. I only know one other person who's cried during King Kong. Oh, my sister. Your sister's a smart woman. She's the only person I've ever smart met woman. aside from you. I married who has, the wrong hill. Cried during King Kong. <laughs> we could sob to King Kong, King Kong. I was like, "What the fuck are you crying?" Of course for? you cry. It's sad. <laughs> the, there's no reason you can get the thing off. You don't have to fucking murder the thing. Get it off. It's, it's, there's so many ways. Shoot, I don't know, a bunch of tranquilizers or something. I don't know. Stun the damn thing. What are you fucking doing? It? To they society. Just, just killing the like. He just he fell in love. Jesse. But they didn't know that. Well, they should have fucking asked him. Just climbing the building. They thought that he was a threat to humankind. I mean, come on. All right, I got to... What movie in the chat got you a little choked up? That's not a typical... Don't say, oh, Titanic. Titan I laughed during Titanic. I've never seen Titanic. Did you know that? You've never, never seen Titanic? Never sat through Titanic. Dude, it's My so sister's funny. obsessed with it. I've it's never like the funniest it. movie I've ever seen. Yeah, I never sat through it. But I think I didn't sit through it because my sister was Watch obsessed it. with it. Watch it. Hilarious. Not meant to be funny. And the actual, you know, what happened is terrible. It's very terrible. But the movie's like legit yeah, I can't a comedy. Sit through it. I it's great. Can't, I can't do it. How did you not watch Titanic? <sighs> I think it was because my sister was like so obsessed. And anytime, like when she was obsessed with movies, she would rewatch them every single day, like two or three times a day. You cry, cry during gr Ghost? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna criticize a weird movie. You cry don't say, "Oh, Schindler's List." <laughs> don't, I mean, come on. <laughs> Give me a real movie. Schindler's List. Remember when all the Jews went in the oven? <laughs> not that. Although I did laugh at Titanic, so maybe you did laugh at Schindler's List. But Schindler's List is a fucking solid movie. You ever see that? I have seen Schindler's List. Is, yeah, I like that movie a lot. It's a actually. solid movie. We got a main event about to happen here. <laughs> Main event when they killed off Thanos. <laughs> okay. that, that got you? Casino? Pinocchio? Dude, Pin did you cry during Pinocchio? That shit was. Moss cried during fuck? Pinocchio. Dude, Pinocchio. I was like, are you kidding no, me? No, you right weren't. Now? You left. So you didn't cry. Because it's so dumb. You, yeah! <laughs> I can't sit through that crap. Like, I don't get it. Like, you got, and you I know got what's weird up. is I'm, like, in real life, got choked up. more, like, emotional than you. So you would think that I would be more emotional with movies, but I'm, like, a freaking stone with movies. Like, I like I don't get it. I don't get the emotional That's pull. why. That's why you got all these emotional problems. You just got to let it out. <laughs> when you're watching a movie, you just fucking let it out. You cry during movies, Mast. Not all it's, movies. My if, husband cries if during If an movies. animal dies in a movie, I'm fucked. Like, I am fucked. Oh, God. You get the smelling soul. I might pass out. I'll never understand crying <laughs> during movies. I don't get but it. But I don't, I don't cry during, like, movies I'm supposed to cry during. That's my problem. But I cry at the wrong time. Crying during movies at all is a little weird. Well, I got a fucking sensitive side, Jess. <laughs> it's a fake. It's a movie. Lion it? King almost got me, didn't. I didn't. I, it's, it's, it's emotional. But it, uh... It didn't quite get me. Sad, though, you know? Dad got pummeled. Got pummeled, stampede. Didn't cry. But when Will Smith had to put his dog out, 
And I am legend. Oh my god, guys, don't get that, that away from me. That wasn't even that emotional of a scene. I got I, through it the next time. I, I remember didn't cry. you made me sit through that scene for that. Oh, or, it's sad. Through that it's movie for that scene. Moment. And he was like waiting for me, and every like when that scene came up, was sad. I could see him in the corner of I my eye it. going. I was waiting for it. And I was sad. like, "Are you kidding me?" Right? He like, loved that this, dog. This is what you're making me watch this movie for. He had to snap the dog's neck. Although I, I did, uh, I did get through it the next time. That was fine. I don't know if I can do King Kong. I don't know if I can do You know sit what I it. think it is? is like I, it's the whole lead up. I don't know. It's like you know this thing's going to die. You know, you're like, yeah, like, why am I watching this? They they make you love King Kong. And then what do they do? They murder him for about 40 minutes in front of you. <laughs> like, I could watch The Passion of the Christ and be like, all right, that's not cool. That sucks. But I'm not going to cry. Because he's forgiven, like, the people next to him and stuff like that. Whatever. Okay. But you put a monkey on not a fucking... not going to cry for Christ, but... No. Nah, but you I'll put a monkey on the Empire... St- a CGI monkey. If you put a fucking I'm monkey on the Empire that. State Building and there's just fucking 40 minutes of a plane <laughs> shooting him in the fucking ass... Makes perfect sense. It's like, sense. just kill him already, guys. You're, you're killing me! Anyway. Mr. Holland... Uh, Dr. Holland's Opus. What, what movies do we got in here? Uh, Goodwill Hunting. How about Them Apples? She, I don't think she's seen that. No. Coming to America? <laughs> eating uh, Gilbert's grapes? Was that the one... What's eating Gilbert's grape? Was that the one with the fat mom where they had to fucking lift her out of the house? Pursuit of Happiness. Actually, Pursuit of Happiness was a really good movie. I really like that story a yeah, lot. Yeah, well, usually... But you know what's getting me now? Now having kids? Like, now like father-daughter shit Yeah, anything movies, with kids, oh, I noticed. Fuck. He, it, it's funny like, because ugh. before, you, nothing like that Never used to ever me. bother you. It does bother me. And now, bit, yeah. after we had Ellie, I've noticed his emotional pull has changed <laughs> a little bit. What the fuck happened to me? Yeah. I'm like such a pussy. Yeah, I'm like, I'm really like, I'm weird now. Yeah. Like, like, I got emotions. It sucks. Ever since I started, stopped like cheating on women and stuff, I became a big <laughs> pussy. Oh, God forbid. <laughs> this is a terrible thing. <laughs> ever since I just, you know, stopped doing everything wrong in life. Ever since you became an actual mature adult? Yeah, ever since I became a human, it sucks. <laughs> Your daughter. See, like, if I just had a son, I think I'd be different. Like, Logan comes I, out, like, look at that little I shit. I think it's good you had a daughter first. I think yeah, you needed to be put me up. in place emotionally for kids before you had a son. I think that was important. All right, let's pretend we care about this fight. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Okay, this is way better than the girls. Wait, oh, a takedown. <laughs> right off the bat. Alvarez with the ta- shoots and gets the takedown. They separate, and Alvarez is going to the body. Who's the? Ch- I don't even know which one's the- Barnett Junior. is the champ. Okay, yo, Alvarez is coming in hot. Barnett clinching up, strong underhooks. Separation by the ref. One thirty-seven on the clock. Five round fight between the boys. Alvarez trying to move in. Barnett goes over the top and just slammed down to the ground it's, oh, by back Alvarez the head on the mat. Oh boy! Stop the clock. He just clock. picked him up and slammed him his, the back of the head on the mat. <laughs> and he celebrated. So we got a spinning kick in the first fight, and then a takedown, a slam by Alvarez. Not legal. Did he really? Bar- is Barnett Jr. acting? It looked like his head, his head did bounce off the canvas. Guys, I'm sensing a little Aljamain Sterling going on Are here. Are they going to give um, a replay of this? Show the replay. Come on. It did look replay. like his head bounced. Barnett is still down. No, I hope he's okay. Like, you know, he's not moving. Now he's moving. I think he's acting, Jess. I hate to break it. I don't want to be that guy. I got to see the replay again. Well, don't start saying that until you know. Because then you're going to start getting people all up in arms about it. And it He did get slammed. Lost. He got body slammed. That did happen. And it did look like his head bounced. Oh, my God. This is... What's the crowd chanting? Reggie. And Barnett gets back up dramatically. Yeah, come on, man. He's He's good. He's putting his hands out. He gets in the face. Of Alvarez. Alvarez is showing respect. All of a sudden, he's fine. Dude, get the fuck out of here. I'd like to see the replay to that. Yeah, this is nonsense. Why didn't they show a replay? This guy is, he's all, come on. What are we doing here? I hope Alvarez fucking knocks this dude out. All right, let me see the replay again. Show the fucking replay, guys. What are we doing? Look, the doctor's like laughing in the corner. This is silly. What are we watching? WWE? He took a point away. Show the fucking replay. They're not showing me the. They're not showing me the replay. Yeah, they should for something like that. They they're should prote- show a replay. They're protecting their champ, and and Alvarez is arguing with the ref. His Here's mouth the thing. guard is way too. Barnett big for his just mouth. like lunged into his arms. Look at that. His so mouth Alvarez guard. grabbed him and just threw him down. Like, I don't know. I, I want to see that again, man. They're not showing it. It's fucking stupid. They had all that time to show the replay. 
All right, here we go. A lot Why of spicy stuff. Why are they picking stuff. each other up in the first place? Yeah, like if you jump into my arms. Oh, nice right hand by Alvarez. And Barnett slings in some more knuckles in the other direction. Barnett trying with the right. Alvarez looking to engage with some fast head movement. And a left by Barnett. They clinch up again. Body shots by both boys. And then they separate. Man, these guys are fired up in the first round. Crazy fireworks to start this thing. Thankfully, Barnett did not get hurt from the slam. So Alvarez looking to steal the belt from Barnett, using the head movement as Barnett's throwing that jab out there to the body, to the head. Here comes Alvarez at the right. They collide. Right hands by Alvarez, clinching up Barnett. And Alvarez tie up. The ref separates him. A little barking by Barnett as they separate. Barnett comes in, looking to land the right hand. Keeping that jab flowy. And Alvarez trying to go over the top with the right. He's looking to set up something special for Barnett. But slips over here as Barnett tries to capitalize. Barnett with some right hands. And they separate. Barnett moving in. Moving around. Zips one to the body. The right to the belly of Alvarez. Alvarez trying to go back to the belly as well. They clinch up. Knuckles hitting the ribcage. They separate. 12 seconds left in the first round. Nice right hand to the body by Barnett. Barnett comes in with the one-two, zipping into the face of Alvarez. Alvarez grabs around the backside. He puts his hands up like, I'm not going to slam him again. And that's the end of round one. <laughs> round one. Oh, two joints. You're not even watching. You're not even watching, bro. Wonderful, wonderful. Those fake Zs. Moss cried during Fatal Attraction when they killed the bunny. Also during the end credits of Notorious because he didn't want it to be over. Just wait until Roadhouse comes out. You know, fun fact. Thank you so much, Kai Oh, Kainoto. they just the replay and I missed it. Oh, come on. Fuck. They just show the replay. Rewind it. Rewind it a little bit. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Tropic Tom. Appreciate that. So, fun fact. I actually watched Here it is. Notorious. Wait. Okay, he picks him up. Dumps him down. Oh, oh, yep, his head. His no, head. his head didn't hit. hit. Watch, watch. Oh, come on, Jesse. Just watch. Stop it. Oh, you're so annoying. Just watch. He got slammed on his back. Watch his head. Did you not see his head? No. No, I did not see watch his head hit. I saw his back hit. It's very quick, but it slams off the canvas. Nope. Don't How see did it. you not see your... it? Okay. I don't see it. Being, I gotta be honest with you. He's being prideful. I, I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. I swear to God, I did not see his head You're hit. Lying. Well, with that angle, I didn't see it. I gotta see another angle. You're I saw his back hit. It hit. I didn't see his head He's hit. He's just being prideful. I gotta be honest. You can't with you. admit a fake, fake, fake situation that happened in that first round. But good thing we're back in action here. Round number two. So yeah, I didn't cry during Notorious. I watched it live actually. It's on the channel somewhere. And I hated it. Fun fact, I couldn't stand it. I thought it was terrible. And I'm a massive Connor fan, but that was a bad, bad fucking movie. Mm -mm -mm -hmm. What are power shots? Okay, so... There's a nice left hand. Barnett clinching up with Alvarez on the ropes. Working with the body shots. And the ref's trying to separate the boys. So we're in the second round of action here. Looks like Alvarez is getting tired. Mouth is dropping open. Mouthpiece coming out. Barnett trying to keep the pressure going. Ooh, there's a headbutt. Oh, man, a head collision. And that kind of sucks. So both guys mutually engage in RAM activities. Stop the clock at 30 Interstellar seconds. Interstellar was a good movie. That, was a, that movie was really good. I was shocked. Pleasantly surprised by Interstellar. So they're warning Barnett and Alvarez. More Alvarez. Oh, now Barnett. Okay. So, wild stuff here in BKFC number 39. Championship fight. A lot on the line. As the girls lay an egg, the boys are letting them go. And a slip down to the ground. Alvarez, are they going to say a knockdown? They are! They're calling it a knockdown. As Barnett comes in, it looked like a slip to me, but I guess the flurry was enough. To have him hit the mat, and Alvarez says he's okay. But Barnett gets the first knockdown here. The champ putting Alvarez to the mat. Seconds left. Barnett swooping over the top of the left hand. Seems like his cardio way better than Alvarez. Charges in there with the left. Swoops around. Hits him with more left hands. And that is the end of round number two. What do you say? Who's winning this fight? Hmm? 
Reggie. Reggie? <clears throat> Interstellar was like the modern day Titanic. <clears throat> yeah, Interstellar was cool. I liked it. I like, um, what's that guy's name? Chris Nolan? Although he laid an egg with that other movie. That more recent movie. What the hell is that? I was starting that black guy. I can't remember his name. Oh, it was terrible. I, we couldn't even, we watched 15 minutes of it. What the hell was it? And I was like, what is this? It was a Christopher, Christopher Nolan's the guy that did the Batman trilogy. Yeah, he did Interstellar. And then he did a movie. I can't remember the dude's name. Anyone know what that movie is? All I know is it was a uh, Tenet. That's it. Remember Tenet? Tenet? Oh my God. We, we lasted five minutes and we turned I don't it right off. Tenet. I was like, oh my God, how could this be so bad? You know what was a terrible um, execution was that Elvis movie with Tom Hanks. Yeah, that, that's just unwatchable. Yeah, that, you want to talk about bad movie executions. That's that's one. Don't watch that. It is probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And I, I couldn't get far into that. <laughs> the Elvis Tom Hanks movie was the weirdest thing I've ever witnessed. Okay, round number three. Barnett versus Alvarez. Whoa, stumbling to the mats is Alvarez. Wobbles and then resets. As Barnett is really looking crisp here. We're in the third round and Alvarez trying to put a tight one to the body. Barnett with the left hand. The champ looking to hold on to that belt. He has not hit the mat yet. The only time he did was when he was slammed. And Alvarez has taken a seat a couple of times. He started very aggressive and now has slowed down. Does seem like Barnett has a momentum in his favor. Oh, but he eats a right hand by Alvarez there. Nasty hook coming in by Alvarez. Alvarez is trying to pick his punches a little bit better. And there's a jab coming in by Barnett. Yes, yeah, so no, oh. Zamas is really picky with movies. Like, he will pick apart the finest detail in a movie. Like, Dude, don't even tough. say Tenet was good. Don't even say it. That movie no, was... No, he's not saying that. He's saying... He's saying he questions your taste because you think many movies are bad. What movie do you uh, think and that it's I true. didn't like? You do pick apart movies a lot. It's not true. Like every movie we watch, you find something wrong with. We just had an argument the other day that you loved the movie. You hated the movie and I loved it. It was Yeah, um, I, I do d dislike movies as well, but not as much. Yeah, what the fuck was that movie? I was like, what are you talking about? That movie was great. That's not a good example, Moss. It's a great example. Tenet was terrible. The no and no one says Tenet was good. I don't even remember Tenet. Yeah, that's because that's how bad it was. No, we didn't watch it. That's why. Listen, if a movie is terrible in the first ten minutes, I will shut the shit off. Whoa! He punched the ref. Oh my god! Reggie punched the ref. What the fuck? He didn't so mean Barnett to. Barnett. He didn't mean hits to. the mat. He was trying to throw a shot at Alvarez, and the ref stepped right in the way and took a, a left hand by Reggie. What the fuck? Can we see some replay on this shit? Can you rewind that? Can you rewind that? Hold on, I'm trying to hear what he says. You can't do that. All right, what the fuck? They're, they're, they're terrible at replay. Hold on, let's see what happened here. So there's a warning by the ref. Reggie loops around. Oh, yeah, so, okay, all right. So Reggie looped around to the backside, hold on to him, and started punching. So Reggie's getting a little, a little crazy. The ref stepped in there. He's like, you can't do that, and Reggie tried to punch his way through it. So Barnett was... Acting a fool, Jesse, for a second there. I was a little less, wasn't that crazy, to be honest. Ref just stepped in there and got, you know, tried to tighten it up a little bit. Got clipped. And Barnett slips to the ground again, but no knockdown there. He gets back up. There's 20 seconds. I'm going to start the clock at 16. They collide. This is really sloppy, man. Very sloppy. Barnett creeping in, hits to the chest. They collide to the ropes. Barnett in control. Body shots coming in by Barnett. Then a right hand to separate to the face. Barnett lands. Here comes, oof, nice right by Alvarez right at the end of the round. Going into round four. There's a right hand. Whoa, their clock is off. What the hell? Why is it still going? So their timer was off. Alvarez had a flurry at the end. You guys know what I thought was a really good movie was that movie Smile. It's, and I don't even like horrors. I fucking hate them. I can't stand them. But you walked out. No, remember I went. To, I had to go to bed early. You didn't watch the end. Yeah, you, you said you were too fucking. You were too messed up. I was exhausted. Up. No, I wasn't. It wasn't because of that. It was because I was tired and the movie was going late. I had to go to bed early. I had to go to bed and I missed out on the last like five ten minutes of the, of the movie. Right. When she went into the cabin. You were telling me how much you hate that movie and you were yelling no, at me. No, I didn't say I hate it. I thought it was a very good movie, but it is very creepy and I don't like creepy movies. 
But I thought I have that, a different recollection of that. Well, That's interesting. You have a different recollection about everything. I honestly. mean, <laughs> that was not what happened. But all right, you were literally yelling at me during that movie. You're like, no, "Why I are we wasn't. watching this?" I didn't yeah. yell at you. You said you make me watch these stupid fucking movies. That's what why you said. Why do you make things up? I. Why would I make it up? No, I'm being. I'm being. Why would I yell at you? I a swear movie? to God. May I drop right, dead? I don't may know. I drop dead right All now? Right. That's not what happened. <laughs> I swear to God, whatever. I never lie about that. Why yes, would I? Would. Why would anyone lie about that? Because you want to be right? No. Okay. Well, anyway, so you want to see the end? I'll watch the end with you. You told me what happened at the end. What happened? You said well, that, I don't say it because you might ruin it for somebody. Yeah, I asked you what happened at the end because I missed the end. It's so weird. Like, we have a complete, totally different recollection of what happened. So you, all right, so if you want to watch it again, we will, I will sit through it again. I got to say, Smile was good, but here's the problem with Smile. It was too overhyped. Like, too many people was like, oh, this movie's so creepy. Like, it got to the point where if you overhype a horror movie, sometimes it ruins the horror movie, you know? I thought it was a little cliche. Like, everything that happened, it was, like, it was too predictable, you know? That was my only problem with it. But it was it was, it was was all right. The rough called the fight. What? So Alvarez does not leave the corner. Why? They were looking at his hand. It looks like his finger's broken. His knuckles. Oh, yeah. His, his hand's all cockeyed. Cock hand. It's cock fingered. It's like this. Oh, my God. And still. So, no fourth round here. Unfortunately, Alvarez cannot continue. Oh, is his left hand? He can't move his fingers. Oof. Hit him with the carnage, baby. Hit him with the carnage. That was a carnage. It's a mess. Break the carnage, embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Make babies with carnage. Play Wait. jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Propose that was a mess. Carnage. Join pancakes with the carnage. Celebrate the carnage. That that was a nightmare. I, this event is kind of a nightmare. This whole fucking card was weird. This is like I would not. If, if this is someone's first time watching Bare Knuckle, I wouldn't judge the sport on this night. This is a weird night. This is just... This is this is definitely not a good one for them. Bizarre night. The Outsiders. Dumb and Dumber, I cried at the end. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, this is a weird, weird night. The Where last Scream movie was a bust. I hated it. No, they're talking about what's out now, right? No, we're talking about like Wonderful. what movies have been a bust. I think the last Scream movie. If I ever visit, I'll do that crappy smile and just hover there. I can say I would not want to be in that movie, and I rather deal with Predator, <laughs> Michael Myers, The Thing, etc. Did that scare you? It's not scary. It's, scare it's creepy. It's like... Yeah, I don't know, man. We're talking about the movie Smile, right? Yeah. I it's didn't think it was just creepy. creepy. Like, it's not like um, a typical horror movie. And I like I don't like scary movies at all because I'm a very jumpy person. And this one I was very jumpy with, too. But it's, it's weird. It's hard to explain. It's not like a typical horror movie. It is very creepy. It has that eerie feel, though. Yeah, it like, didn't... Like, every scene, you're like... Is it gonna happen? You know, like, and and it's not even that they're doing anything crazy. It's just, it's it's that eerie, like chills on the back of your neck kind of feeling. Smile to me was it was um, had a had a very good idea. I loved it. I, I love the right. I thought the writing was fantastic, but I was creeped out. I was very creeped out. I had a very good idea, but I would never really care about watching it again. It's very forgetful. Yeah, it's like a one time watch. Yeah, but it's very forgetful. Like it was all right. I think it was a little too overhyped. If I just stumbled I upon it. it and watched it, I'd be like, oh, okay, that was cool. But it, it, it was just so overhyped. So when I watched it, I was like, what the fuck? This is not that great. Like, it was okay. It's better than some of the other horror movies we've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if it's a if it's a decent horror movie, I'll just enjoy it for what it is and never watch it again. I like it because it kind of makes you, like, on edge. You know? like, yeah. And it's not like, like I said, anything crazy is happening. It's just, you're just on edge. It's weird. Terrifier, I would watch over and over and over again. Ugh. Terrifier this is like 2. such a stupid fucking horror movie. Terrifier 2, I will literally make it a tradition every Halloween to watch. It's a complete joke. It's fantastic. That is horror. That, to me, they, they that just hits, that, hits everything. They clearly did that as, like, 
a huge spoof on horror movies. Yes. The whole thing is, is well, meant to be a joke. Here's the, th here's the beauty of Terrifier. I know we're not talking about Bare Knuckle because it's over. And we'll finish the points game in a second. We'll also get to predictions for UFC. But Terrifier is way more intelligent than you've given it. Okay? It's, <laughs> it's very so self- dumb. It's very self-aware. Such a waste of time. And the reason why it did so well is because it was so self-aware. And you have a, a main character in that Arthur Clown who will now be the next big horror thing because he was done so well. It's a goofball movie with goofball props and, and crazy killings. When and, he's killing the people, he, the he's making is so the most good. ridiculous face. Like exactly. It's, it's not, you can't even take it Think seriously. Think about this. Clown doesn't say a word in two movies. Not one word. It's intentionally disturbing, but it's a complete joke. See, it's way smarter. So it's way smarter than some people are giving it credit. It I is. Hate it. But it is, it's, it's it a again. wild ride, man. You would never watch that never. again? If you want to watch that next Halloween, you're doing it. But on you're not your a own. horror fan, right? If you, you would say. I would never watch that again. Why? Never. Not a, not a day in my life would you find me watching that movie again. You're not even doing it. <laughs> I'm doing smile. That's like smile, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> I'm going to freak you out with the smile. Yeah. I love, I love Tower of Fire 2. First one was all right. Tower of Fire 2. I don't like horror movies, fantastic. though. Fantastic. I I dread when... I used to love Halloween as, like, my favorite... One of my favorite holidays. No, it's not. But now I dread it coming around because every time it comes around, it's like Moss's... I, Mo I only give Moss one month out of the year to watch whatever he wants when it comes to horror movies because the rest of the year, you, you're not catching me watching that shit. But now I dread it. I love it. Because I'm like, oh, here comes that month again. I try to watch the I'm most... I'm stuck watching horrible horror movies every single night. I want to <laughs> see the most messed up things I could possibly see. <laughs> I do. I want to see horrible, gory deaths. I want to see just craziness, man. I want to see eerie shit. I want to see. I don't want to watch. Yeah, un nonsense. it's unnecessarily gory. I agree, Tante Tiger. There's it was no like, such thing as unnecessarily. It was tar. unnecessary. It was like you could literally see where they piped in like the tubes of blood for the for the graphics and stuff okay. like that. Like it, it was so stupid. Like here's unnecessary. It's like gory. they think their audience is so freaking dumb. Have you ever watched The Human Centipede? No. Okay. That, I actually chose. I I made a choice not to. That ever watch is unnecessarily that. gory. You understand? That is that is under Moss, terrifier. You the, can't he put was terrifier. A woman in half with a, a freaking like chains. Like it was just Moss. You can't you can't put terrifier in the category of human centipede, right? That's unnecessary. It's just I unnecessary, compare. right? I can't join this conversation because I've never seen it. Yeah, you got to watch that, and then you'll be like, all right, I'll watch terrifier. <laughs> I mean, they're sewing mouths to assholes and shit. And then they just it's just going through the chain. Yeah, the Saw movies were good. I did like the Saw movies. <laughs> That's Those are creepy too, though, the Saw movies. Hereditary. Yes. That's actually pretty fucking good. What is Hereditary? Do you want to watch it? Have we seen it? I feel, like we, I feel like we've seen it. It's it sounds familiar. No, you have not seen it. It's I feel like up. we have. It's fucked up. Let me see. Hereditary. It's fucked up. I can't wait for it. When is Halloween? When is it? I would watch a horror movie every single day. <laughs> So annoying. I would. Every day. Love it. Oh, All we've right. seen this. I watched it with you. Hold on. Yeah, we've this, this is when she gets uh, we've seen this. I remember watching this. Cause the ending was all like weird and creepy. Okay. We've seen um, it. Is that oh, a decapitation? Shit. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of a different of movie. The yes. Girl? Yes. Yeah. We did see this. We together. actually just recently saw that. Okay, no, we'll hereditary is not the movie I'm thinking of. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was, I'm, this was I'm a thinking, good one, though. This I'm, was uh, Hereditary was a good one. What's the William Defoe movie <laughs> with a fucked up opening scene? I'm thinking of that movie. Is a William Defoe movie? William Defoe is the best. He's in the shower, hog hanging out. I think it was a fake hog, to be honest with you. No oh, way. Stop. William Defoe you know, hung like this. You can't imagine William Defoe's Antichrist. Hung. That's what I was thinking. I don't know why I mix those two. Antichrist. It's got a fucked up opening scene. <laughs> You know what movies I haven't Locked seen? Up. Is the ones with the nun. What what are those movies called? Yeah, I don't care. My brother loves them, uh, William. Yeah. I don't what know. Is, what are those movies called with the nun? I know what you're talking about, but I don't know. It's never there was never never um, anything that someone help me pointed out pointed me in that direction where I need to see it. Yeah, I haven't seen those. i I was kinda interested in seeing those though. So the human centipede two is better than one and three. Two to me is the best. If you're gonna watch the human centipede, the second one is the most to me but isn't it the whole movie just about people being like <laughs> watch the second one so together it's worth skipping the first and skipping the third i don't no, even know what saying, the fuck that isn't is. the whole movie the second one is pretty good are you listening it's terrible good isn't the whole movie just about people being sewed together 
So yeah. what is you're wasting your time watching that movie? Well, there's a story. There's that I can't imagine there's a story behind that. A man who is very fucked up. Well, obviously you have to be fucked up. You're sewing people's <laughs> mouths to other people's asses. Like I don't get that. Like that kind of shit. I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. It's I like VHS. I like the first VHS, but we watched the most recent one. It's it's really, it's like falling apart. It's getting worse and worse. But the first one was good. Anyways, why are we talking about horror movies? I don't know. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's let's pull this together. <laughs> let's pull. Yeah, one, VHS one, two was alright. It was alright. It's okay. Art is a new icon of sorts. Him shooting someone was very lecturing field, and no one does that shit. It was stupid. Also, Jess smile did the daytime horror jump scares good. Yeah. Which scene was WTF more? Birthday party or the car scene with the sister? Uh, Birthday party. Oh oh oh. Um, I think I jumped more during the car scene, right? Oh shit! Hold on. Sorry. The car scene freaked me out because I knew, like, that one, you know something's coming. Wait, what movie is this? What are we talking the about? The car scene. In what? Uh, in Smile. I don't even remember Remember it. the car scene? I'm going to spoil it. I'm sorry. But there's a car scene where she walks up to her sister's um, window. And she's sitting in the car. Yeah, and she walks out. up to her sister's window and then her head, like, <laughs> just fucking falls off. I yeah, think it was her head. Was it her head? I can't remember. It's so weird. That but fucks her up. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, what's so fucking scary about it, this? Like, well, because you don't expect it. Because she's walking up to the car like a normal human being. And then out of nowhere, like, she's just, like, imagining in her head that her sister's head is, like, <laughs> just flinging off her body. I don't know. Oh, twisted? Is that what happened? I Anyways, it was just, like, a creepy. It was a good jump scare. It was good. But, um, yeah, jump scares get her. Like, I, I don't, I'm don't like do super me. jumpy. So, anything, I'll jump at anything. But that one, I think I jumped <clears> the most. Yeah. That was a good scene. Jump scares. Yeah, jump scares. It, it's I, I, sometimes I it's overused. And I guess it's to get people like her. They get me you know? every time. Because she'll jump. Like, if you, if you walk in the bathroom, if you walk around the corner too quietly, I'll jump. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. mom's like that too. My mom's the same way. But jump scans, I don't know. That doesn't get me. I'm trying to think what freaks me out. I remember when like the first paranormal paranormal activity came out. That was a little eerie for me. I saw that in the movies, but now it's not like that ship has sailed. It's not like I don't know. But um, yeah, Smile was okay. It was it wasn't terrible? Like like I said, I don't think I would watch it again. But it's it's it was what it was. I like Sinister. Dude, the first Sinister was fucking fire, man. With Ethan oh, is that what it is? Sinister? Is that the one Sinister. with the nun? No, that's with Mr. Oh. Boogie. Movies that oh. create suspense are better than gore porn. <laughs> gore is cheap. Yeah. Suspense leaves you on the edge of your seat. I agree with that. Because you don't know what's next. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's why I agree with that. Because I, I think that's why I hate Terrifier so much. Because it's just too much. Like... They went overboard with the gore, and they could have mm. really focused on the story more, and it would have been a way better. But Terrifier movie. is not a straight up grindhouse. But gore they were like movie. so obsessed with chopping people up, and like yeah. it was just like, come on. Terrifier mm. had that feel of grindhouse, but Ugh. the the main character Disgusting. in that was kind of special. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. It's like you drop a fucking. You're giving it too much credit. I'm telling you, it's way smarter than people think. I promise you. Like, if you just sit there and analyze what you're watching with that movie, the movie is ridiculous. It's, it's over horrible. the top, you know. But and gory. But the main character in Arthur Clown. There's a reason why people went like were Mars, driving to the when the girl started coming back to life and shit. I was like, come on. Yeah, there's. They even have shit that doesn't even make sense. They have shit that makes like supernatural shit that doesn't even make sense, movie. right? It's not. But the main character. Main character. It's not for everybody. I think I think something like Smile is better because it has an actual storyline behind uh, it that it's made been sense. There, done that. It's like a million times. Who's Arthur, ever done anything this. like Smile? What clown has ever been like Arthur Clown? Um, I don't know it. one. It's nothing like nothing like it. It was killing children. There is He's not slaughtering children. There is not one clown out there that even remotely comes close to Arthur Clown. It's not even. It's not even close. The gags that were in Smile. You just have a person smiling. Like, it's not, what the fuck is the big deal? No, it was the creepy sensation it's, behind uh, it. Yeah. Uh, this it's is been why, done. This is why I don't watch horror movies. I before. fucking called it from the very beginning. It's like, it was so predictable. You know, it's what like. What movie have you seen that was like Smile? Almost every horror movie has the same plot 
plot points. Someone smiling at you? Either either it's a fucking supernatural thing, or it's it, it, you just re, re, replace. Okay, it's not going to be a ghost. It's going to be a fucking smile. Like that's Ugh. you know what I'm saying. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. They just dressed it up in a different thing. You know what I'm saying? Like there is not. All right, what are we talking? Why are we? <laughs> I can fucking. We're just debating. I can debate the shit out of this. Yeah, I don't think Moss is the guy to debate horror movies because he's. I can debate a, the shit out of this. Too involved. I I take it serious. Yeah, I take it very it's serious. Much. It's overboard. I'm not even afraid of clowns. I'm not afraid of Art the Clown or any of that stuff, but I respect. Well, Art. I think. I respect it. I think um, clown fears were a fad. I think people jumped on the social bandwagon of clown fears. If you're afraid of a clown, you're not a man. You, I'm just gonna say it right now. If you're if you have a penis and you're afraid of a clown, you need. You need a lobotomy. You need so I don't know what the fuck. Who I the think, hell is afraid of a clown? I think a lot of people who say they're afraid of clowns probably aren't, but they do it because everybody, no else, way. everybody else does it. So it's like, well, let me jump on the bandwagon. Who in the chat is a man that's afraid of a clown? Like, <laughs> well, I don't, I'm not. I, I, <laughs> what the fuck? How could you be made afraid of a clown? Yeah, unless it's John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that clown, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, Touche. Yeah. Who the hell is afraid of the clown? It's weird. People are like genuinely terrified of clowns. Well, I think movies made it made it terrifying. Like like they capitalized on that whole they probably like a director probably heard someone who had a fear of clowns <coughs> and then capitalized on it and then everyone started having that fear of clowns. You know what I mean? I think it was just like a social fad. It's weird. I guess it I guess I don't know. I guess the idea It was a good clown movie. I thought you it know, was No, it's not a clown though. It's an alien. Yes, he is. It's an alien. No, he's not. even not. a clown. He's an alien. It's not an alien. It's an alien. Spoiler alert. Is it an alien? It is an alien. It's not even a clown. Hold on. It's not even a clown. It's a fucking alien. Spoiler alert. He's not an alien. I thought he was a demon. It's an alien. Pennywise. We're going to finish this points game in a second, but we have things to take care of. Like uh, Pennywise. Anyway, okay, let's put some time on this clock and then end this game. So, all right, all right, hold on a second here, guys. And then we're going to do the uh, UFC picks for San what Antonio. What supernatural creature is Pennywise? Supernatural? What the fuck are you getting? He's not supernatural. Yeah, yes, that is supernatural, He's Moss. an alien. Aliens aren't supernatural. A shape-shifting monster, Moss. He's not an alien. He Look is a up. shape-shifting monster who usually takes the form of Pennywise, the dancing clown. Okay, now ask it, is Pennywise an alien? Well, if, you, if you're looking for that answer, then... Just ask the question! Ancient cosmic being. Cosmic being. Described in the novel as an eater of worlds. That does not mean alien. Cosmic being is an alien! What? How... You can't win a fight against her. You just can't do it. The novel implies Pennywise was hu a human familiar who it corrupted and then enjoyed so much it incorporated his shape into its file cabinet of monsters. Mm -hmm. He's an alien. Picking and choosing your words that you're reading. Alien. I'm literally looking for anything in here that says alien. There's nothing that says alien in here. Ask the Googles. Is Pennywise an alien? Actually, we're all aliens if you think about it. Uh, okay, let's see. He's not an alien. He's an alien. He's a shapeshifter. He's a fucking alien. Is Pennywise an alien, a demon, a god, an international alien? It has no religion affiliation, and it isn't. No, that you're reading. No, you're not. You have to. You're on Cora Moss. Oh, that's the first thing that popped up. Uh, with that being said, Pennywise is closer to being an alien closer, than he is to being a demon. But he's not an alien. He's closer to being an alien, but he's not an alien because he's a shapeshifter, according to the novel. <laughs> Stephen King. All right. We're going to put some time. <laughs> Alpha's an alien. What was E.T.? E.T.'s an alien. It was not an e. alien. E.T. was a guest. He was not an alien. He was a guest, Jesse. Get it right. Uh, and so was Alf. He was a guest. Two hour clock. All right, we're gonna. Why put, didn't they just name the movie Pennywise instead of It? Because it's actually smarter, right? If you just name it It, you're like, what the fuck? Like, 
What the hell is that about? But where did they get it? It's a great name. Great name for a movie. Uh, let's see. Or a book, I should say. All right, 10 we on the clock. We should make a channel where we just talk about movies. I love this conversation. Well. Here we can do it, not the MMAs. Talking about movies on our gaming channel. We talk about everything there, but that's turning into this channel. Uh, all right, so ten on the clock. Uh, when this is done, then we will go into the UFC predictions. We're gonna make some money, like we did on the last predictions. And uh, right now, the points game is like so. Mystic Monster first place, twenty five. Wolf four, and everything else. Just crickets. I want to thank everyone that dropped donations. Some, a lot of people forgot to say points to a specific player. Now's your chance to get those points in. Ten minutes on the clock. Good luck to everyone playing me. And um, let's let's, uh, let's take that belt belt home again. You know, for uh, Art the Clown. Just you want this belt at any time, or are you just gonna? I, just gonna, I, I don't done. know what's happening. I haven't won that belt for God, how long? It's been a while. It's Since been twenty twenty two. It's been seven years since you won that belt. Since you've hooked up with me. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I'm scared of Fizbo, the clown from Modern Family. Fizbo? I don't even know. That was Cam's clown. Oh, was it? Is it a creepy clown? No, he turns into Fizbo. Remember <laughs> the fat gay guy, Cam? He, uh, he always, no. like, Fizbo was his, like, alter ego. It was like, a, like this clown that he, he went to clown school and everything. I didn't see it. He turns see. into Fizbo for kids' birthday parties. Fizbo. All right, so as we wait on that, let's get your picks in the meantime for Ooh. a little UFC action, since you won't be here for mine. Fizbo. Fizbo the clown. All righty. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate that. Very much, very much. Uh, yeah, I moved on from... I watched all the Modern Family seasons. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy now. Okay. That's my new show. I saw that Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They're doing, um, I think, a Dead, Light, Dead by Daylight version of it. I'm not a big Texas Chainsaw Massacre I've never fan. Seen it. But um, I would play that game. All right. Uh, Marlon Vera versus Corey Sandhagen. Here we go. Cheeto. Vera. Still getting plus money. You're Marlon Vera. Oh, I didn't even see the face off, too. I got to see if Cheeto is on fire, man. Wow. Yeah. He's still getting plus money. So easy yeah. Cheeto pick. Yeah, FTW. Okay. The Preacher's Daughter, she just got an extension. She's 41. Mm, just I'm going to go extension. with the under on this one. I'm going Santos. Two, you're going under on both of them. Kunitskaya. Mm -hmm. Yana mm -hmm. Kunitskaya. Mm -hmm. This is a competitive fight. How long? It's been nine months since Holly has competed. All right, so two underdogs there. I might be the same way. Excuse me. Nate Landwehr versus Austin Lingo. Who the fuck is that guy? I've seen Landwehr. Who the fuck is that guy? Uh, I'm going to go Landwehr. Okay. Doing the train. Favorite. Landwehr. Okay. All right. Macy uh, Barber. Don't even have to click her. Macy Barber. Really? That's my girl. I always choose Macy Barber. Macy on a three-fight win streak. Wow. Yo, Andrea Lee is getting no love. Wonderful, the wonderful. KGB will wait for no one. A pop culture channel might get ad money dinner. Very popular, I see it now. JBM versus Moss on movies. <laughs> Polls with the audience. <laughs> Could be your calling, you never know. <laughs> I need bets to win after all my donos, and I'll buy you new Texas Chainsaw game, maybe. <laughs> it would be fun, Moss, just to do it on the side, just for like no reason at all. Just to do like a movie channel, just to sit here and talk about movies. I think that would be really fun. Well, here's the thing. If the website takes off, then we will have way more options, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we can't really. We don't even have the time to do that now, but. We would have way more if options. If we wanted to. I would piss a lot of people be off, fun. though, because I'm But no, he had a good idea. Like, brutally honest. JBM versus Moss on movies. And we could agree on movies, but, like, also get two different, you know, completely different takes because we're two completely different viewers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, you know what it is? I don't have patience, though. Like, I'll just turn the movie off. That, well, that's where you're going to have... He, he has to suck it up and watch the movie. I'm at the age where it's just like, you know, time is very valuable. So if a movie sucks like 10 minutes into it, I'm out. I'm gone. I am gone. That would be fun, though. Anyone like that? Like, there's so much content out there. Why 
take your valuable time and waste it. If 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 it just starts off like trash, just get out. Just leave. You know? I will say I would have never been able to sit through that Elvis movie. Dude, that Elvis movie. You wouldn't catch me dead. Did anyone like that? that? The Elvis movie with fucking Tom Hanks? Dude, no one could yeah, sit through that. Yeah, that one was rough. That was rough. The shit had like it had like hip hop music in the middle. I'm like, what the fuck? What the hell is it? <laughs> Didn't make any sense. Didn't make any sense. The shit was like all over the place. It was like I was watching a mu- music video. There was no, there was like no Elvis, and I don't even like Elvis. I'll shut the movie off for real. Right? Why stick with a movie? Like you, if you have Netflix, you can just go on to something else, or anything else, like a movie app or whatever. It'd be fun to do that with Ellie. Like a mother-daughter movie review channel or something. Like if you're not into it. I you re- Wait, he rarely shuts off a movie. Wow, dude, I shut everything. Yeah, Wait, get, I'll give you eight years. You'll be shutting everything I, off. Yeah. I I, I promise can, you. I'm kind of on Moss's side. If it's not good within the first you. ten minutes, you, you hit your 40s, you're going to be like, bro, what am I going to waste my time with this shit? Like you can tell, you can sniff it out early if a movie's just going to be hot trash. Like people just wait it out. No. <laughs> like I, I could watch a shitty movie if if it still has something. Like it needs there's gotta be something a little a bit charm. in there. A little bit in there, you know? The acting is precise like pristine. There's something like I gotta know what happens. There are some movies that just doesn't have that. And you gotta go. You gotta get out of there. Yeah, that's what we should do. We should like we should drive people crazy and do like UFC predictions in movies. <laughs> no, keep UFC and MMA out of it. Just talk about movies. Oh, what's your channel about? Well, it's about it's about predicting fights and talk about movies. Uh, let's see. TV shows too. If the first episode sucks. Don't watch it anymore. Get out. I'm about to. Well, TV bail shows on are different because if you like, sometimes the first episodes of series suck, but the entire series is fantastic. So you can't really do that. You can't really like base it off the first episode. Pilot episodes are tough. You got to get through it first and then decide if you like the series. Listen. Ah, super chat. WMMA scene. What have I missed? Had you did a skit about me a while back. Bet it was cringe AF. Point CSA. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. you. Did did a skit? skit? Probably. We make fun of everybody over here, that so was... we probably did make fun of you at some I don't point. Know. That must have been a while ago. I mean, I wouldn't put it past us. We did the skit where you fucking freaked out when you did the fucking. Uh... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was that, that what you're talking that about. That wasn't a skit though. We you were, were just talking around. about what we Remember saw. Remember when you, you malfunctioned and you fucking? <laughs> you were doing a fight call and this. Here, hold I'll on, show say, you hold a on. second. I don't know if he remembers this. It wasn't a skit though. We we literally spent two seconds on it, but uh, he was doing He's a fight call. About that. He was like calling a fight. Wait, was he calling a fight or was he talking about? I, mean, I don't know what you were doing. I you think t- you were like t- calling a fight or something like that. And then out of nowhere, like, he's like, oh, this person throws a ride or, you know, whatever. And then out of nowhere, it's like dead silent. He's staring at the screen. And then we see. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes back into the fight call. And I go in the chat. And I'm like, what just happened? And then he just, like, pretended it never happened. And I was like, Moss, did you just see this? <laughs> we rewound it over and over. Like, we, we, like, we, it's so yeah. weird that we were there at that time. Yeah. It was, like, perfect timing. I don't know. Maybe he does it a lot. If but go check out though, WMMA scene now. He he does all like a. If you guys knew like the YouTubers that we watch and UFC we just stuff. see like the silly things that they do, we could probably make up a story on. Yeah, like malfunctioned. It was hysterical. We could probably write a book on the things that we see people do. That was like, dude. That was like, that'd be like three years ago, right? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Maybe more than three years. It was ago. like it was like a, like a tick. And I then- mean, he had some sort of flashback or something. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Yeah. But shit, he was in a fighter plane. He just he went from the fucking play by play to fucking mowing down Nazis or some shit. Yeah. Oh god! And we're laughing at we're probably I laughing. I went in the at- chat and I asked him and I was like, dude, I was like, what? I can't remember what I said. I was like, I think I just said what just happened or something. And he was just like, oh yeah, just uh, just like, I can't I can't remember what he said. He said something about like ignore it or something like that. But he just like pretended that it didn't happen. And yeah. he just like went right back into the fight call. I was like, "This is the yeah. weirdest shit I've ever I'll, seen in my life." I'll never forget that. I'll never. <laughs> that's something that will always be in my head. Oh god, that was amazing. Yeah, that was uh, the highlight of our WMMA. But I think you're Washington. you're um you're a veteran, right? You have served. If oh, I'm is not he mistaken. a veteran? So that's why oh, we, we stopped. Bad. Like we made the joke and Awkward. we stopped because I'm like, "Fuck, maybe he's having PTSD or some oh, shit." Shoot. And here we are dying laughing like it is. <laughs> well, what's funny? I mean, <laughs> he's a really nice guy. Yeah. I kind of feel bad now. 
Listen, let's forget. Let's all forget <laughs> Listen, about the fight. I'm not going to deny that it wasn't funny, though. <laughs> it was funny to watch. He's like it left was. hand, left hand by so and so. Look what you started. All right. Anyway, let's let's. All right. 37 seconds left. Who's gonna win the fucking game? No way. The 1975 Hearns Hunt! No. Michael! No. Michael! No. Watch out, here he comes with the wrench friend, heart and soul of the holes, Mr. Steve Girlfriend! Time out, trolls! Welcome to the dead end cock so big that you can't, can't even comprehend! Lost and grown, making bitches moan, on the timestamp thrown while the chat room stones! Hold up! Save the show for the tales will be told about Michael and Zalo. Let's go. Points Wolf. Mystic holy shit what you called Ryan Kills made me laugh totally unexpected. <laughs> Listen, I love Ryan. If we tease what you. What did you call Ryan Kills? If we tease you. Wait, what did you call him? By the way, I was, I was at the buzzer. Hold on a second. I'll, I'll show you in a sec. I'll show you in a sec. So 20 points for Carl, the wolf. Oh my god. Oh my god. At the buzzer. Oh, dude, you're not even going to fucking believe this. Ready? Let me put it in here. Sober Carl now has 24 points right under the mystic with the expiration of fucking time. This came right after Oh. Hey, I can see your underwear. Put your boobies in the air. Fat and lucky. Oh, just don't care. oh my god. your pubic hair. Snap a picture. Time to share. Took my meat vision impaired. Boost in mind, I need a prayer. Pervert cameraman, beware. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pervert cameraman. $10 tip. Pervert cameraman. Yanni Celeste. Please. Roberto coming in with Boing the movies. Wolf. He is not. Thank you so much, Roberto. Sonosi still got it. He still got it. Roberto came in right after the buzzer. It like as we're dancing to the ends and the time expired and I saw that came in. It just like come on, her. Just like right there, bro. Oh my god, dude, that was so fucking close. So fucking close. But. Uh, more importantly, suck a dick! Let's go! And There's no humbleness right now. I don't care if it was a second behind. I don't care. It's end still, baby. Double champ time, baby. Double champ. Fuka Friday. Champion. Fuka Friday. Hey, hey. Champion. Fuka Friday. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I win by a second. And I'm going to gloat as much as I can because I'm not going to have the belt much longer. Or maybe I will. And still. Oh, no, hold on a second, hold on a second. Hold on a second, guys, hold on a second. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Ryan, are you still in the chat? Did he take the pictures down? 
Also, uh, MJ, before you start talking all your mad shit in there because you're drinking or doing whatever the fuck, um, all of the donations are queued within the timer. So even if Moss doesn't have them playing at that exact moment, anything that's in queue is going to play. So, yes, it came after the buzzer. Why Why are you addressing this knuckle? It needs to be addressed. No one cares about it. I'm not serious. talking about him, Moss. Relax. We all don't care. Um... Wait, it's still in there? Hold on. I want to show Jess. She didn't know what we were talking about. He said it's still in here. Ryan. So Ryan got a chance to meet some of the UFC fighters. I thought he looked like a certain cartoon character. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let you tell me who you think he looks like. It might be someone completely different. Probably will because I have a deranged brain. But um, probably deleted it. That's what I said, but I can't find it. 133. Hold on. Put it at the bottom. Jump to the present. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, I was too high up. Okay. So we're going to show a little Ryan Kill. So here he is with Terrence McKinney. Okay. Okay. Who who do you think, Jesse? He looks like? Yeah. Like what celebrity would you say he looks like? <sighs> celebrity. Give me a celebrity. You want me to give you another picture? Okay. Celebrity? What, what celebrity do you think he looks like? Celebrity. Yeah. A very beloved celebrity, I would say. A celebrity. That's Ryan with... Um, I don't know uh, any celebrities that look like uh, Loudmouth. What's what's his name? Big Mouth, Kevin Holland. What I can't remember his nickname. There's uh, Adrian Yanez. Some savages, man. Good good people. You can't think. Celebrities that have lo like what physical like long hair and like what I don't yeah. understand. All right, close your eyes. Okay. Okay, close your eyes. Don't look. I'm not looking. Give me a second here. Celebrity. Okay, just don't look. Don't look. Don't cheat. Um, my eyes are closed. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you when. All right. Seth Rogen, maybe. Open your eyes. Close. Okay. What do you think? That's not a celebrity. Wait, yeah, it's Chris Griffin. That's a character. Okay. Do you think you uh, said celebrity? And no, he does not look like Chris Griffin. No. No. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's because just... he's wearing the hat. So you got probably oh, got all. Because in the yeah, I think. Uh, come on, it's the hat. Is it? It's a thousand percent the hat. Okay. All right. Hold he on. doesn't even have the same nose. Right, hold Chris on, hold Griffin on. has like the weird like. Right. I'm not saying it's like identical. I'm just saying it just, you know. There's nothing like him. Okay. All right. Hold on. Give me a second here. Okay. Give me a second. Jesse doesn't agree. It's fine because I'm a little crazy, man. I'm a little crazy. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell you. You tell me, Jesse. You be the judge. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this. I'm going to. No. No. A little bit? It's because of the hat. If he wasn't wearing that hat, he wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> I guarantee it. That's a celebrity right there. What are you saying? Chris Griffin's not a celebrity? No, Chris be, Griffin is a character, Moss. You said bro. celebrity. I was over here thinking like, okay, what freaking what Hollywood fuck? stars? Listen, I would be I would be delighted. This guy, Chris Griffin, is hilarious. One of the funniest guys in the family guy. All right. I, I laid an egg on that one. I tried. But that's nah. pretty cool though, right? He met he met some of it's the It's just because of the hat. If he wasn't wearing the hat, you wouldn't be okay. thinking that. All right. Okay. Should we put a poll in? Although I'm gonna steal this picture and send it to Monica and be like, This is this is the guy you're playing Fortnite with. Oh, here, well, let's get pick the best. Yeah, send the best one. Hold on. Let him give him a chance what's to send your, which one he wants. What's your best one? Give a give which you the one best one you like the most. Yeah. Do you want to send one of these or do you have like another picture that you want to send in? Or do you want to send uh do you wanna just send you wanna send this? <laughs> I feel like you're trying no, to be. I'm just joking. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> oh my god. It's satire, Jesse. Satire. That's a good one. <laughs> Dude, oh, you know what would be funny? If if we had a side by side with him with his shirt up in the air <laughs> in this picture. <laughs> oh my god. Ryan, you got let's say, do you have the kahunas? I'll tell you what. How about this? If Ryan sends us a picture side by side of him like this with, you know, uh, exactly the same picture, shirt getting rung around, Ryan next to Chris Griffin, you're getting a shirt from the MMAholes.com. That is, you have my word, Ryan. You have my word. Shirt from the MMA Holes, if you could produce that, I think that would be amazing. Oh Chris Griffin is like the worst person you could compare someone to. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not the worst. 
Chris Griffin. It's all right. Imagine I compared you to Chris Griffin, Moss. Listen, I've been compared to some horrible things. Horrible you compare things. our neighbor to Peter Griffin. He looks just like him. He might be watching. Be careful. I think Moss just likes comparing people to the Griffin family. I love Family Guy. It's one of the greatest cartoons of all time. Like, yeah, I can't even... tell you how many times he he's looked at a child and been like, that, that kid looks like Stewie. Yeah. There are a lot of Stewie looks likes. There are. There are. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Listen, man. It's part of the deal. Like I said before, if we tease, if we tease, we like you. If, we, if we're quiet, that's when you got to watch out. If we're just like, uh. It's like when you see an ugly baby and you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my son. No. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, that's nice. You know? But if we come up with an analogy, horse around, make some jokes, we like you. Come on, Jess. Pull it together. It could be worse, Meg. Right? Meg is probably the worst, right? Who is the worst person to look like in Family Guy? Actually, Quagmire is pretty fucking bad. Why do you say Quagmire? It's Quagmire. Quagmire, Quagmire, whatever you want to say. Nobody says Quagmire except for you. It's Quagmire. One, this one, one came out of the buzzer after, after the buzzer as well. Mickey. Mike H. Thank you so much, Mike H. Thank you, my man. Thank you, thank you. After the buzzer, though. After the buzzer. Who is the worst? It's got to be Meg. Family guy lookalike. The only reason is because Meg is like, that's the joke, right? Meg is like the ugly girl. Even though, like, she's just a cartoon but character. But that doesn't make her, like, but that's the, like the worst wor comparison. Well, it's a running joke. Like, she's supposed to be that's hideous, you know? supposed to be know? the joke in the whole show. Meg. Um, the worst family guy character lookalike. What about, um... <clears throat> Uh, Joe. The 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 cripple. Yeah. Oh, he's a good looking guy. No, he's not. Joe's a good looking guy. He's got a chiseled chin. He's like a hero. He's like Superman. Um. All right, well, I got to do picks. <laughs> what are we doing? What's his name? Um. You can do predictions. What's we his get name? Money. What's the other friend's name? What's his other friend's name? Whoops. Starts with a C, I think. Cleveland? Cleveland. <laughs> or it's the old show. man neighbor next door who um is a pedophile for Chris. <laughs> oh yeah. That that's yeah, that's that's a good Chris? one. Chris. What the fuck is this? What's Sadiq putting up here? Adult film stars currently okay, I don't know. Alright. Um all right. Let's uh let's do predictions. You gonna you gonna hang for predictions or no? Nah, I'm gonna bounce. All right. Here we go. We're going to go into UFC San Antonio. If you stayed this late into the stream, hit the like button. Okay? Good night, guys. Let's do this. Let's get this pop in here. We, we, are, we, are way too, we are running way too late. Thank you, Jesse, for stopping by. Chris. All right. Let's make some money. If you could pull that scene, that chair will complete. There we go. Movie magic. Okay. You guys ready? Patoom. All right, let's let's try to play some bets. Let's try to make some picks. I'm liking Cheeto a lot, but I got to see the face off, of course. Bare knuckle was I. Two and stills. Um, and wait, I still got a schedule tomorrow stream. All right, it's only nine thirty six. It feels later, right? So you want to hang out for this? I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed. You gonna go to bed? Okay. After this RE4 remake. Oh, did they release that? Very nice. Very nice. Go check out Sinosi Stream. RE4. I heard that was supposed to be pretty good. Okay. All right, guys. You're stuck with me now. We're going to make some predictions. As usual, they're going to be very um, ridiculous. But good. Accurate. Ridiculous is how we get to what we pick, but accurate. Okay? Pachoom. All right. Uh, 11 fights on the card. We're going to sign in. And this will be completely free. This is not members only. We're only doing the members only streams for pay-per-views. So if you'd like to be a member, it's $3 a month. Stop being a cheap fuck. It's $3 a month. You get emojis. You get badges. You stand out in the chat. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Here we go. 
Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. Expand all. All right, I'm going to figure out this capture card. I'm going to figure it out. By the way, subscribe to Not the MMA Holes. Um, that's our gaming channel. We we kind of you kind of got a taste of it tonight. Tonight was a lot like Not the MMA Holes. We we basically spoke about anything tonight. All right, so fun matchups, uh, but like a lot of who the fuck is that guy? Let's go to this. Okay, let's set this up. Got my bookie fired up. We're bouncing back nicely on my bookie. Get rid of Mark Harley. UFC uh, face-offs. UFC face-off. Look at Cheeto looking fucking sad. Whoa! And for a main event of the evening! <sighs> don't do drugs, MJ. Don't do drugs, bro. You got to get off of it. Come on, man. Pull it together. Pull it together. Like, come on. Stop it. It's bad for you. All right, here we go. Let's get to... Let's get to the first fight over here. Whoa, what's up with this guy's hair? All right, so we got a gentleman over here coming in off the Contender Series a knockout seven months ago. Vinicius Salvador, four-fight win streak. He's a minus 115 favorite. Mexico, you know how I like the Mexicans, baby. Daniel Da Silva, knockout. Before that, lost split decision to Carlos Hernandez, and there's the Contender Series split. So some experience. 5'8 versus 5'7, 70-inch reach. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at this thing over here. Which one's which? All right, so Tam Tamarano is just laughing. The other guy's got this weird-ass haircut, man. What the fuck is going on? Whoa, he's, try he's trying to get up in there. Whoa, this guy is, like, antsy, man. This guy looks like a fucking Adam Sandler character. This dude looks like he's straight up from an Adam Sandler movie. And it's kind of freaky to watch. Uh, good. I'm glad you're off the pills. All right, now it's time, time to pump the brakes with the booze. All right, let's get off of all substances. It shows when you get all crazy in the chat, okay? Uh, all right, who am I picking? The Adam Sandler character or he is on a four or five win streak. 14-4-0. He's looked pretty good. But he's making his UFC debut and he's very fired up. He's coming off a knockout. This kid doesn't look phased at all. Split decision loss. Let's look at the rest of the stuff this kid's done. Let's go topology. Oh, okay. It's confirmed. Britain Hart has split from Beltran. Okay. Had to ask the champ. Had to ask the champ, Christine Ferreira. How to ask the champ, you know. Shout, shout out to Christine Frey, the champ. Champ is here. I was like, what the hell's going on? So it is true. So they split. Wow. Now I got I to gotta get her on. Britain Hart. I got to find out what happened there. They were like, so I didn't know that. I had no idea. No fucking clue. That just goes to show you, no matter how good a relationship looks on the outside, you just don't know what's going on. That's crazy, man. That's a bummer, man. It seemed like she was in a really good place. Okay, sorry, I got sidetracked. Well, at least she won tonight. 
Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's look at the resume. Victor Altamirano. <coughs> Scoozy. That was a good sneeze. That was strong. Solid. So, Carlos Hernandez in the UFC. Carlos Hernandez. Look at his resume over here. A bunch of wins. Okay. Lost to Nascimento. Carlos Candelario. Okay, so... This guy's all right. Ah, this guy's six and four. It's not easy. So you would think the Brazilian would get this, but like, just by the going by the face off, I got to be honest with you. The Mexican kid doesn't look like he's phased at all. Just laughing at him. He's got the experience. I, I let's see. Get the knockout, knockout. He's been finishing a lot of dudes. All right, let me look into this dude real quick here. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull some more info. Let's see who he's beaten. 13, 7, and 0 experience. But a bunch of losses here. Contender series, the UFC. Been losing a bunch. Okay. Wallace Vampirino, 0 and 1. What? Dude, what? Okay. I don't know what the hell that was about. This guy 11 2 and oh, wait, hold on a second. Wait, what am I doing? How is this? What is going on here? Did these guys fight before? They did fight before. These this is wait a second. He knocked him out. Wait, hold on a second. What the fuck? Oh, they were supposed to fight. Dude, I'm not even high. Victor Altamari Alright, hold on. They were supposed to fight. Okay. Dude, I got, I got all fucked up here for a sec. So this was canceled. This was supposed to happen in 2021. They were supposed to scrap. Interesting. That's an interesting side story. 10-5-0. and 0. Couple of losses there. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Spending some time. Oh, I just saw that. Uh, 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 uh. Filio. He's actually all right. 14-3-0. It's not, it's not. Lost to Mikhaev. Filio's actually, he's a beast, man. He's the guy that almost, almost submitted Mikhaev. I think I'm going to go Mexican. I know Salvador seems like the sweet guy, but oh, wow. Okay, so I'm with the majority here. Yeah, I'm going to go Mexico. Viva Mexico, baby. Go by decision. Okay, sorry. It took a while for me to get there, but... Uh, cancel bout. Yeah, I know. I got. I had to go down this little rabbit hole, but I want to make sure I get my picks correct, you know? My bloodline going back to my name was the largest clan. What? Trevin Giles is going to lose. No one says they're Scotch-Irish anymore, bro, unless they're just saying it sounds cool. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. CJ Vergara coming off the loss. He's from Texas, right? Yeah, Tejas. I do remember that for some reason. Tyrus submission, armbar loss, split decision, Rodriguez. Lost to O'Day Osborne. Not terrible loss, Bruno. All right, my man's looking for a win here. Big favorite. This guy will be a ground and pounded. Submitted. Jeff Molina. Lost by dick sucking. Wow, this guy. This guy's 0-3 in the UFC. What? The fuck? Dude, what? What? I don't practice Jeff Molina. I don't got no crystal ball. If I had a million dollars, I would fix a fight. And I can suck that cock and come out of that closet. What are they talking about here? Okay, this guy's got frosted hair. We're not picking him. We're picking CJ Vergara by decision. Although this guy really needs a win. Five six five six six eight. Yeah, fuck it. Vagar's gonna win. Did I pick the wrong guy? I really wanna come in an ass. I really wanna. Moss, you're annoying, man. Don't read my comments out if you're gonna we're not gonna read them correctly. Wow. Those two are going to a decision. Molina swallows. 
King Girth, I have a question for you. King Girth. Can I ask you a question, King Girth, since I have your attention? Did you go on Jesse on Fire's chat and did you mimic the MMA Holes account? Be honest with me. Let me know. Because he said someone was being naughty. Was that you, King Girth? The way he described it, it sounded like something you may have done. Would you like to reveal your secrets in the chat right now? Would you like to answer for your sins, Mr. Girth? It sounds like something you would do. Yet I don't mind King Girth if it's the same guy I'm thinking it is. Would you like to repent your sins? You don't watch him. Shit, who the fuck was it? So someone... Okay, someone else. There's too many of you. I can't keep track. Too many, baby. All right, so let's move on. Trevin Giles versus Preston Parsons. Da -da 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 -da. I hate that the UFC does this backwards. Like, I don't understand what that's about. Okay. Not, yeah, not much to... Whoever said that in the chat earlier is right. There's really not much to, to see. Oh, man. 30 versus 27. 5'11 versus 6 foot. 74 inch reach, reach to 72. We got Elevate War Training Center. Uh, Lewis Coase. Michael Morales. Knockout loss. Duplessis. The real African king. Got knocked out. Uh, Roman Deleeds. That's a pretty good one right there. But how long ago was that? It was a year. Preston Parsons lost to Evan, uh, beat Evan Elder. Lost to Daniel Rodriguez, who is might be fighting the uh, Irish kid. What the hell is that kid's name? Herp. Uh, 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 uh. Giles at home. So you like the hometown man? Yeah, I'm I'm actually leaning towards Giles. Mm, 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 mm. Let's look at this again. Oh, fuck. It's not easy. This week's not easy. I might am I gonna even put a bet in? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, I'm gonna go Giles' decision. <laughs> Fucking A. Steven Peterson still fighting? He's only 32. I feel like this guy is like 70. What the? This guy, he's only 32? Really? I thought he was a little older. Uh, that's, a, that's a nice face off right there. This guy's been around for a minute. So, uh, Julian Arosa lost to Chase Hooper beat uh, Martin Bravo. Lost to Alex Caceres. Lost to Luis Pena. By the way, Luis Pena is fighting on that um, XMMA card that we're going to be showing. Don't do it. Go at Parsons. What? Ian Gary. That's him. Yeah. He's a top fighter. No, he's not. Stop it. He's still young. Dumb and full. Of, actually, he's not full of cum. This guy is, well, he just had a baby, so maybe maybe he is. <clears throat> Ian Gary. I need more info on Ian. He looks all right. Not a champion. I'm telling you right now. Not a champion. No champion. That's a big N to the Izzo. Uh, so lost to Brito. And that was it. So his only UFC fight here. Looks like Peterson might be ready to rock. I don't practice gonorrhea. Solid face off. Not much to really. Mm, this guy needs a win. All right, I'm going to go with the experience. I don't fucking know. Sure. How'd you lose? You got submitted? Um, you know what? I'm going to go with TK. Oh, yeah. Second round. Peterson, lock it up. It's my first finish right there. <clears throat> I, I only talk about champions. 
I only care about champions, okay? I just texted a champion right now to find out some information on heart. I just, you know, listen, I'm, I'm uh, you know, champs. Champions. I only surround myself with champions. All right. Uh, so I didn't even know this dude from Saturday Night Live was a fighter. The guy was smashing Kim Kardashian. I had no idea. But he is. And he's fighting Tucker Lutz. 37 years old. Pineda. What the fuck, Mr. Draw? What's that guy's name? Pete Davidson. Yeah, why? I didn't know Pete Davidson is. But he is. He's in the UFC. He lost to Cub Swanson. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Five eight five seven. He's I never th thought he, I thought he was tall. Five seven. Dad died in the World Trade. Seventy inch reach versus seventy two inch reach. We got Fight Club four ounce Fight Club versus Shadok. Pete Davidson. Let's see how Pete looks at the face off. My baby. See what you're missing in the members only streams? I'm telling you. You don't know what you're missing. What the? This don't look like them. What the hell? What the hell is this? That looks nothing like them. That doesn't look like the same guy. Daniel Pineda? Dude, what? Wow, how old is that picture? What the fuck? Pineda versus Lutz. Like, I feel like Lutz, just by the face-off alone, like, Lutz is going to smoke him. Let's lost a decision. Pat Sabatini, who got exposed. Uh, I feel like Lutz decision. Yeah, I am gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Lutz decision. Okay, we move on. Next fight. Injaquani versus Albert Duraev. Russia. Russia getting plus money. What the Injaquani's a scary dude. Lost to Gregory Rodriguez, then Fatum smokes to Dorovich. Was not very good. Uh Barry, oh, nice win, knockout. Mario Souza, Contender Series win, coming in from LFA. So he got some smoke knockouts, and he just got knocked out by Mr. Bucks. Dr. Stoppage. I might. Submission. Let's see. Let's see. 5'11", 6'3". Damn. 80-inch reach. 5-inch reach advantage. <sighs> Madonna mia. Oh, my God. Let's look at this. Oh, boy. Talk about talk about two different two different fighters here. Mm. She got knocked out by Buckley. I feel like you're getting plus money on the Russian. Oh, Robocop. That's right. I do remember that. So that was Robocop's last win. Uh Fuck, this is not easy. Fill me up. Man, this dude's got a lot. He's got a lot of pop in his hands. Uh shit. I feel like Inchiquani should win, but you know, how do you how do you pick against a neckbeard? How do you do it? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with the neckbeard, man. Derive by decision, going underdog. What are you guys doing? Cheaty should win this fight. He should. He's the better fighter, really. But I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the you know, I, can't, I can't rush him with plus money. You got to go for it. Uh, cheaty, cheaty, bring home some chili. Drive has no cardio past uh, the first round. Yeah, he didn't look very good in his last fight. He didn't. Um, but I'm going to stick with him because he's Russian. Yo, how about Cape? This dude was looking like hot trash and then bang. Now here he is on a fucking three fight win streak. He went from, oh, the UFC is going to cut him to like, oh no, he's here. Uh, Dvorak win, Zumagalov knockout, Ode Osborne. And then we got Alex Perez, Pantoja, Figueredo. Not bad losses. Beat Formiga. Oh, That's a good fight. Yo, Cape is about to go 4 and 0. 4 in a row. He's about to go 4 in a row. Unless I see something different here. Oh, 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 feisty. What the, the dicey, dicey. What happened here? What happened here? Dicey. 
You know, Cape is cramping the back of his head. What is he doing? Oh, there's, there's activity. Dana looking slim. Uh, is, Cape, is, is Cape too emotional? I think Cape's going to knock him out. Submission, submission. So two wins by submission. He's got wow. This is gonna be. This is a good fight, though. It's a good, it's a good scrap. Um, I'm gonna go with the. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the, the tapology. I'm going with the hot hand here. Cape. Um, let's see. Decision knockout. Flying knee punches. It's not like this guy gets knocked out though. Uh. But you know, what? fuck it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say cape decision uh, knockout too. Going, I'm going capey, baby. So Jesse picked Macy quickly here over Andrea Lee. I feel like it's a little disrespectful. Andrea got the loss to Araujo. Um, beat Cynthia. Cynthia just quit in that fight. Beat Shevchenko. Roxy lost Lauren Murphy. Hmm. Uh, beat Jessica. I beat. Uh, this is this is. I think this is pretty competitive. Macy, her losses, Grasso, Champ, Roxy. They both have a loss to Roxy. Very interesting. 10 years the difference in age. Uh, a lot bigger. 69 inch reach to 65, 5, 6. Well, not height, but a lot longer of a reach. Interesting fight. It's a, it's a pretty big step up for Macy. Macy looking like Michael Jackson. What the hell's going on with Macy Barber? Why is she looking like that? Hee hee. Why is she, why is she like. I gotta be quiet. Shh. Yo, what's up with Macy Barber looking like Michael Jackson? Yeah, Andrew, she's not a bad underdog. She's not. This is this is gonna be a dog fight between these two girls. This is actually a good matchup. I don't hate it. Lee is a plus one forty five. We haven't seen uh, Macy since her a, a new ACL. True. We fought with people, but uh, we lived in peace. Uh, okay. Connor finished. Aldo can finish uh, tying his own shoe now. Andrea Lee did well against uh, Jillian Robertson. Yes, this is a this is a very good test for Macy. Very very good test. Crazy Macy. Hmm. I kind of want to pick Lee. Ten years older. Damn, Macy's been doing it now. Like it's kind of crazy. She's still only twenty four years old, so she's on a three fight win streak. Maverick split. They're like, hmm. This is a this is a good fight. I like I'm trying to find a way to pick Lee because I think she's she's like a live dog in this. But I'm uh, no, I'm gonna go with Scrappy Macy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Macy by decision. I just got to do it. I think it's gonna be a, a war between these two, but I think Macy's gonna be just have that dog in her. She hasn't beat anyone good. Well, she's about to be, beat a, a, a former Nazi. Okay. Uh, Onama decision. Klein submission. Then lost to Julian Arosa. Darren Elkins win. Herbert Burns. Oh, how do you lose to Herbert Burns? Ouch. <clears throat> Saldana. Yusuf Salal. Hmm. Hmm, let's look at this thing. Let's take a peek. This guy looks too much like the guy from Do per Perfect. It's making me not want to pick him. Yeah, he's got the Do Perfect thing going. Like, it's bothering me. I have to pick Landwire. Just because the other guy looks like Dude Perfect, I got to go with Landwire. Uh, decision. Uh, let's see. How did you lose? Decision. Okay, Decision. All right, let's look. The return of the preacher's daughter, baby. We don't have any bets. I'll put a bet on shit. I think I might just put one bet out. Catlin Vieira. I might let her just all ride. I'm going to place a bet in the main event. I might throw a hundo. I might throw a hundo in the main event. Holly Holm versus Yana Santos. So she lost to Aldana. Decision Vieira. I think I think she's a live dog too, Santos. 33 versus 41, 5858, 69 inch reach, half inch reach advantage for Holly. Not much. Not really much there. Let's look at the ladies. Let's look at who has the better ass. That's what we'll pick. Yana's got Santos. She's got the power of Thor. B 
between the legs. She's got Thor's hammer between her legs. Wow, Holly looking yoked. How is she 41? Dude, look at these arms, bro. What the hell? Dude, are you kidding me? What the f... Dude, <laughs> yo, what? She's 41. Dude. For the love of God. That is like... I would kill for arms like that. <laughs> I want that chick's arms. Dude, you chop that off. That's a dude's... Like, what the fuck? Holly been ready. That's... The fuck? Okay. Ketlin Vieira split decision. Irene Aldana knocked out. This is tough. Fun. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Didn't they both use to train at Jackson Wink? I feel like Santos... She used to be in Jackson Wink, if I'm not mistaken. So these girls probably train together. I, I got to go with the 41-year-old. I got to do it. I got to do it. Holly Holm decision. Cheeto. 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 He's so fuck. He's such a pissed off Mexican. Look at this guy. Look at him. Vato. He got that fucking tattoo on the back of his head. That's the tattoo. That's like that panther over there. That's like that's some jail shit right there. He's like, I just want that. See that on the wall? That piece of flash art? I want you to put that on the back of my fucking head. Like that's that's like the every tattoo shop has that. He's like, put that shit on the back of my head. This guy's ready. Corey Sanhagen. He's going to fight smart. I have a feeling. I have a feeling Corey's going to start like outpointing him in the beginning. And then Cheeto's going to warm up. Take out that fucking tattoo on the back of his head and slap him over the head. Knock out Corey in three. KO round three viciously in round number three. Save it. Now I'm going to place a bet. Let's go to my bookie. If if I'm still getting plus money on Cheeto, I'll be placing a bet. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pop a hundred. The Irish built New York. What do you think? What do you think about the main event? Who who's winning that main event? Uh, very getting the first KO of Corey. Great fight, Donkey. Cheeto wants it more than anyone in his division. Look at Tyson Fury, for example. Ha ha, the man is true. Kelt. And he is known for his spirit and pain threshold. Deep. Deepness. Do they fucking take me out of here? What's going on? Okay, let's go to mybookie.ag promo code MMAHOLES for 100% match in your first deposit. All right. We're going to go back to the hundo. We're, we're just going to drop one. Unless I see something tomorrow that really stands out. But um, I'm just going to place one bet. And I'm not really confident on this one. But Cheeto getting the plus money over here. I like I like the way he's looked lately. I like his run. He's, he's very angry. That, that makes me happy. Man, Holly versus Allen. I can't wait for that. I'm actually really looking forward to that. Allen wins that fight right in place. Another prediction. Puts him in line. Allen for the championship. What? He's going to take out Volk. Shock the world. Another mystical prediction in the books. All we need is like Marab to... Uh, Vera plus 128. 100. 128. Okay. Here we go. MyBookie.ag. We are about to drop a hundo on Cheeto. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good luck to me. Good luck to everyone placing bets. All right. The bet, the picks are in on Tapology. That's a done deal. Got everything together over there. Everything's taken care of. I'm going to schedule the stream tomorrow morning for the fight reaction. So if you're going to watch along with us or you want to just watch us watch the fights, whatever it is, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And you hit the notification bell. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Why not? Uh, final words from the chat, my people. Thank you for all the donations. You guys are awesome. Seriously appreciate the support. Thank you uh, for the shares and likes as well. 
Thank you for that. Uh, okay, let's see. Chat room. Say your farewells, please. The floor is yours. I got Vera for round four. Cheeto to win. Uh, not KO Corey is tough. Uh, don't be racist. He's Ecuadorian. Is he? I thought. He, oh, did I just make the same fucking mistake? Hold on a second. I made the same. I did the same thing Jesse did. Ecuadorian. I apologize to my Mexican peoples. I'm sorry. Marlon Vera looks Mexican as fuck. But I, anyway, I uh, I I shot. I shot the wrong. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's see. Losing your mind. Moneyline Cheeto uh, when he's at uh, plus 140. Later slap nuts. Have an awesome night. Thank you, Lou Dog. Appreciate it. E.T. was not overrated. Um, you have no heart and no taste in movies. Good night, all. Good night, Uncle Mike H. Appreciate that. When did E.T. come out? You're probably the type of guy to say Roadhouse is better than E.T. Is that... Is that an accurate statement? When did E.T. come out? 1982. 1982. For love of God. 1982. Shitting on E.T. How dare you. How dare you. Don't be an a-hole, be an MMA hole. Get out of here. You're making me sick. Stupid little cuck, bitch. You fucking ugly little cunt! You goblin fucking cuck! I'm coming. I'm coming!